This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. Welcome to another episode of Your Mom's House. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, She's mm-hmm. Christina P. I'm Tom Segura, and we are ready to roll. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, do you have, I don't know, a hobby, an idea, a business? Are you a, a writer, a photographer? Director, producer. Are you a dancer? Um, do, you, do you sew things? Do you make jewelry in your garage? Maybe you take pictures of your feet and you want to sell them. Hmm. Um, maybe you collect uh, used so- socks and underwear. Maybe you dry your urine and you want to sell that. Why? I mean, you got to have a central location for all of it. And one thing you can do is get a website mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. have it all run through there. If you don't have a website, you're really, come on, you're missing out. You're not doing it right. You need to go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace gives you beautiful templates with by world-class designers, powerful e-commerce functionality that lets you sell things online. What if you collect bags of sand and Mm. you want to sell them? You can do it on Squarespace. You have the ability to customize the look and feel. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box. A new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions, built-in search engine optimization, free and secure hosting, 24-7 award-winning customer support. You've built a a number of these. Four websites using Squarespace. I love it because it's intuitive. It's easy. The customer service is unbeatable. And the templates are clean and and great. And literally... I really love it. The only thing that fills me with rage when somebody introduces themselves to me and they have any type of business whatsoever is not having a website. I know. It's silly. Make it yourself. Make it stand out. Start out with a beautiful website. Once again, go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is a YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH exclusive. YMH. Oh man, this is uh, an emergency um, session that we called. Uh, we try to want to do this the right way. There's an empty chair next to me for a reason. It's a symbolic gesture. Uh, if you have not, <laughs> if you have not yet heard. Um, it appears that one Conald Eugene Peterson, a.k.a. Lord Fed Smoker, has passed away. That is what people are saying. That's, um, that's the rumor, if you will. And I say that. How do you get a job here, there, fuck face? I say that because they're, we're still at the point where we haven't confirmed everything. Now, there are images out there of a car that appears to be at least like the car that Fed Smoker would most recently roll around, and he had multiple vehicles over the years and over the videos. Um, there is a body that's covered with a tarp, and an arm is sticking out of it holding what one would uh, describe as a milk jug or a urine container and it has tattoos on the arm you could argue that are similar or those that uh fed smoker had or has hopefully um i asked you you reach out to the uh coroner's office there um where is that in park whatever in arizona what did they what they did they tell you anything uh, they refuse to confirm or deny it. They know that there's a lot of people watching this case, and they're not trying to leak any information before the proper time. Okay. Um, 
if those if you don't know, I mean, first of all, his name his real name is Conald. I've never even heard that name. Have you ever heard somebody named Conald? Not Donald. Conald. No, that's like a real old timey name, I think. C O N A L D. Mm-hmm. Conald. Mm-hmm. Con. Uh, Short for con or long for con. Con, mm-hmm. the long con. I've heard people named Con. I thought it was short for Connor. Right, Connie, Connor. Right. Yeah. Here's Conald. Um, I mean, I want to. I want to do it respectfully, you know. Oof. I mean, that looks like his car, man. I don't know, man. Why are you a doubter? This is just. This is seeming all too. Uh, I don't know, man. This looks like foul play. I think he's trying to fuck with us. Well, let's let's for those if you this that, is that, even him. If for those of you that don't know, we're talking about, uh, you you, you know him as Fed Smoker, a retired double agent, um, an innovator, an entrepreneur. This guy owned Falcon Car Wash. He uh, he started a, a, a dentistry practice, barber, massage therapist. I wish we had had a video of that. I want to see him giving a massage. Um, just. You know, he is a renaissance man. I think the 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 proper way to uh to honor somebody like like him is stop making excuses, man. I mean, this is a guy that did it all. So if you're like, I'm tired, I don't have time for that. How'd he get it all done? He got everything done. I think he still has time to get stuff done. I'm not are, convinced this is Connell. Why do you, why are you okay, not Okay, there's a lot of tips. There's a lot of things here that scream at me that this isn't him. First of all, he's the last thing he did was grasping a piss jug. Why is that hard to believe? That wasn't shown in any of the videos. He's never talked about it. I mean, we, we've just been in like piss spots, right? Like yeah. that guy is, if you're doing that, you're all about it. You're talking about it. You're telling people about it. You're showing people where you're peeing. He's just grabbing a piss bottle. So, and also, I think we've seen his tattoo work. At least I've seen his hands. Uh huh. Those knuckles are way too clean. Hmm. He has ink all over his fingers. I do not think this is Connell. And also, where's the dog? I don't think there's a world. How do you explain the car? I don't think there's a world where Connell survives and his dog doesn't leave this world with him how does how do you explain the car look is this a heavily modded car yes is this connold's specific heavily modeled car i don't think so Mm. or modded car look there's a lot of stuff going on here but i think even just from looking in the window it's like where's the laptop setup where's all the crazy shit i'm not seeing enough wires hanging crazy shit on that car look i'm seeing stuff strapped to the top but that's like, look, this is an old, uh, this is an old Vic, right? Uh, an old Crown Vic. It looks like, like Possibly. I could see some bars in the back window of a mm-hmm. co- that looks like it might have been a cop car. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Th- look, is this a fucked up car? Yes. I don't think it's the specific fucked up car that we're used to. Hmm. I don't think this is Connell. Well, because that's all we have to go on, right? Is that it's a fucked up car, and we see a hand that looks like it might belong to Fed Smoker. That, I mean, other than that, there's no confirmation, right? Yeah, I just yeah, I mean, Fed Smoker is alive, Tom. You think he's alive for real? Believe I, you I, me, Fed Smoker is alive. I gotta tell you, I want him to be alive. Well, your wish is true. He's alive. There's no way this is him. I would put money on the fact that this is not him. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm that confident. Can we just do just a random internet check if there's anything that's come out in the last moments about this? Um, you know. I don't know. I'm just, it really, it upset my night. It really did, man. Reported. Shit. <laughs> Shit. On uh, monstersandcritics.com, Conald Fedsmoker Peterson reportedly dead. But I will say that I think our subreddit is where a lot of these rumors are starting and where people are thinking that this is actually him. Okay, can you make that bigger for me? Yep. Also known as, as dead, according to several reports, Peterson was an internet personality. That's true. Uh, he had many YouTube accounts. We counted how many? Uh, I someone sent me a list of forty active accounts. Oh. Send that's an, that's the other thing, is that and he posts constantly. And granted, he switches accounts all the time. So I would put money Apparently, on. Apparently, he most recently posted on some church something church, 
one right. of his accounts. That we saw, uh, I think that was what, I mean, that episode is coming out on Friday where you and Drew watched him playing piano at That's a church. That's the thing. We just watched this guy. We just, I spent an hour looking at Fed Smoker videos with Dr. Drew yesterday. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to put a card at the beginning of that episode. That's a good call. I mean, if he's actually um, left us. I still, I mean, from multiple reports, notice that there's no links to those reports. I'm not seeing anything See, look, here. several unconfirmed reports that Peterson died. Unconfirmed. Yeah. Unconfirmed. Um, is there any way uh, you can't, I'm going to revisit some of his classics right now. Can you look on for that YouTube channel real quick as I play this? Which one? The, oh, the one that we found the, the church one Apparently, on? Apparently, people were saying in comments that... In some of his recent posts, uh, most recent posts on on one of those thirty seven active channels, <laughs> that you could see this car in it. Oh shit! But I mean, can is there any way you can take a quick? All right, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a quick search. Uh, as you look at that, I'll I'll revisit some of my favorite moments with Fed Smoker. Uh, I was, I believe, I was first introduced to him by this I video. I can tell you no anytime I want. You're a fucking baby raper on your face, okay, you cocksucker? You want a baby raper? You're the one who looks like a baby raper. Baby raper, Would you Chomo. escape from jail? What's up there, Chomo? Listen here. What do you guys, how do you get a job here, there, fuck face? Well, not by talking like that. Oh, uh, you know what? You're fired, bud. No, okay? I'm not. I thought this guy was pretty cool, you know? He's, he was pretty active uh, with the uh, hostility um, to a stranger, and I was like, that's an interesting guy. You're talking to me? I'm a fucking American, you fuck. You're the one touching my camera through the fence, you faggot. I'm going to talk to the sheriff's department about you, buddy, okay? Go get him. Go get him. Yep. Threatening to fire a security guard who's just, you know, looks like he's just doing his job, but Fed Smoker wanted to uh, really drive it to him, you know? You know what? You're fired, okay? You didn't follow Proto. How do you get a job here? You know what Protocol is? Yeah, I take cops' badges all the time doing it. You know who you're talking to? A retired double agent there, I'm you fucking retard. Ah, man. Oh, man. Uh, it's just... If he's really gone, I, I'm going to be so bummed. I mean, the next thing that really got a lot of everybody worked up is uh, uh, when he removed his own tooth, you know? This is probably going to hurt just a little bit yeah it's gonna hurt just a little bit so bear with me yeah this is um what's nice about this knife here is uh the ch- tip's been broke off so i'm going to bear with me <sighs> okay cool. Just working up, you know. I cut my lip. Fuck. Working up the the strength to remove your own tooth. It's it's wild, man. I mean, this guy really, really had it. Parked illegally. Quit. 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 Is that the arm that you see Mm -hmm. sticking out of the tarp? Right? Yeah. Wow. That was really, really cool video. <laughs> that uh yeah, I mean I knew we read we had someone special there. Um took his own tooth out. I think that's over at and he and he tells you like you can do this too, you know. Oh god, I think I got it. Yeah, you did. Oh, fuck. Look at that bad tooth, folks. Look at that fucking thing. 
That's the way you do it at Falcon Car Wash. Mm hmm. <laughs> Such a, oh man, such an amazing guy. Is that the car? This is the inside of the car. Hmm. I'm trying, it looks like most of this video just has interiors of it. Hmm. I'm trying to find a good one. Yeah. I like, I'm, I, but you know, I mean, a lot of these videos are Fed Smoker approaching people or shooting from outside of his, from inside of his car outward. So it's hard to get. But it does appear to be a black car. Hmm. Does it have what's the thing on the hood called that like uh, that gives the engine extra juice? Like the, the the a lot of muscle cars have it. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Because in that in that picture that we saw, it had one of those. And now I'm just trying to see if we could see maybe the view from the dashboard. Yeah. That we could see that maybe his car has that, but I don't know. I'm having a hard time trying to find this. Right. Cause the little ladies put a little pink on her drink. I woke up to ink. But the ink got to think. And I can vent over her statue sink. As long as they're wearing a mink and they're definitely not French. I can have a little drink. And this is of course the yeah. the famous haircut video. I want you to take when you feather in it, brother. Yeah, I got a good drip on it. See, you gotta feather that shit. You gotta get it going, bud. You gotta get it going. You know what I mean? And he's just. Gotta get her hot, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like when you light your brain on fire. Now that's a, a thrill, motherfuckers. To light yourself on fire. Light your brain on fire. Huh? Oh, that man. Great? What you got there? I don't have any of the audio on, but, but it looks like he's really getting into I it. I mean, is that music he's listening to, or is that just what made him do that? Let's see. On a white light, there flash. Americans. Oh, nice. He did love dogs. Go on out there, brother. Okay, get ringed on. Look at the amount okay, of shit just get there. get sopping wet out there for a while if you like. What's your hand? Okay, do you see that hand? Yeah. Do you see how fucked up and dirty it is? I mean, I think that's bad tattoos, and I don't think we saw any of that in the... in the. There are bad tattoos on that. Get sopping wet out there for a while on if that, you like. What's your hand? On that crime scene photo? Yeah, but I don't think it goes all the way up to the hand. That's also the other hand. Mm-hmm. That's his left hand in the in the photo. It's the right yep. hand. Yep, I think. Yep, you're right. I just don't want this to be true, Tom. I know it's a fucking. I'm doing everything in my power to just. I mean, and this is probably confirmation bias at uh, at its best, but it's like, I don't want this to be true. Mm. And I'm probably acting a little irrationally and stuff, but it's just, it'd be too sad. I know it's like, what's going on this year? We got Kobe, Fed Smoker. It's like icons left and right dropping. Once again, if you're not a scurvy ass bitch with a dirty twat, you have a good opportunity of coming here to live and clean this house. Leave all your inquiries and information on this site. If you're not scurvy and your twat smells like roses, give me a holla. All right, and I just. I don't even want to fuck you. I find my own bitches. I need a house cleaner. And I just, uh, Chris just noticed something really interesting in this video that I have up. What's that? These bars in the back window. Those bars? Yeah. Okay. Which is the same one. Um, which is the same one that we saw in, uh, in the crime scene photo. Show me. Hmm. This is, I don't, ah, this is, hmm. I told you, man. <sighs> I really don't want this to be true, man. I know. It's a, it's a bummer. Like everything about this, like you even see the Hurley sign on the, the part of the muscle thing, which mm -hmm. I think would stand for Herkster, you know? Mm hmm Well, look, I think, I think he has, he's gone. And I just wanted to say that, you know, yeah, it's a real guy, you know. It's Connell Eugene Peterson. I, he's fed smoker to to us, but 
That's who he is. He led a wild life by all accounts. And he was documenting it 20 seconds at a time for us uh, in most of these videos. And uh, look, he, he brought a lot of entertainment, a lot of joy, a lot of laugh, a lot of laughter. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what the real story was, but a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, rest in proto and uh, feather in peace, FIP. Um, keep feathering in heaven. And there's people who are saying this is, you know, this is just Fed Smoker up to his antics. He's faking a death to, you know, to probably flush out some baby rapers um, in the federal government. I don't know. <laughs> but look, man, I, uh, I was highly entertained by this guy. I was bummed out when I saw this. I was like, no way this is happening. But it appears to be true. If it is true, I just want to say, um, you know, like I said, feather it up in heaven and stamp those those baby rapers who deserve it. Um, I hope you follow Proto up there. And I think just one final time, I will say to you, Conald. Ta-ta there, retard. And now it's back to our normal show. Gene? Jeans. Oof, that's what, look what I'm talking about. What's that? That's my sleep last night. Yeah, Tom is, you're, you only slept for, it says four hours and, and 43, 43 minutes. minutes. I know. This is What when, happened? Let's talk about it. This is when I, I got up to pee. Oh, Gene. And you got up to pee and that's when you couldn't go back, you said. Oof. What happened? Let's talk about it. This has it. been happening to me a lot. Um, I, and I worked out yesterday and uh, I just, you know, I don't know, I felt, I felt good. I mm -hmm. went to bed. I when I What time did you go to bed? It's about around 11. It's not that late for me. That's not but were you doing work? You were yeah, looking bit, yeah. at a screen. Yeah. I think that keeps does not keep you up. Did you have a hard time falling asleep? Uh a little bit, a little bit, but I man, I remember I went pee. I got back in bed and I just started to go like, "Oh fuck, I'm not falling back asleep." That's the worst. I'm not falling back asleep and, and then I knew uh, it. It was like I knew time had gone by five, six, and I was like, God damn it. The stress of like, you know, you have to wake up soon too. And then it's it, like when you have a flight coming and you're oh, like, Oh, forget it. Oh, I hate that stress more than anything. Oh, it's going to be, uh, I got to, I'm going to crash so hard. Today. I know. It makes me so angry. I keep doing this. I keep uh, going like not good sleep at all, then great sleep. You know? Yeah. I keep, I'm not consistent with it. Neither am I. I haven't slept in five years since we had kids. <sighs> I think that they just happens. It kind of ruins everything. You. Yeah, let me oh. eat you. Maybe I'll feel better. <laughs> no, don't say that. I no. d didn't. I milk. I milked your prostate this morning, and yep. that hasn't put you in a better mood. And I was hoping it would. Yeah, I, I honestly did it. I took one for this team today. Yeah, because I was like, he's gonna be all cranky, <laughs> and his he needs milking. And I milked my husband. For, oh, get off. for everybody listening, for everybody's benefit, I made him a lot happier <laughs> for you guys. Just so you know. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know mm. it put me to sleep put me back to sleep i know it's too bad we couldn't just go back to sleep huh Fuck. yeah anyways you know um you just taken a dump too you clogged the toilet yeah and i was like are you sure you can you want to go you just yeah. dumped and you were like yeah it's fine that's true that's there's true. no dump refractory period for you mm -mm. for me there is i can't I know. do it right after dumping it's disgusting. Um, look, we have some amazing stuff, though, this episode. So I feel like... <laughs> I keep it juicy, juicy. I eat that lunch. Oh, boy. Do you like that song? Yeah. Are you ready? If you see it from the back. Let's, what did she let's, say? Uh, if let's, you see it from the front. Okay. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys. A lot of people have been calling to saying the N-word. <laughs> what is the N-word? What are you guys saying? What, 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 what N-word are you meaning? Also... Which video would you like me to do one of these? Which one of these guys would you do a video with? Who is Randy? Oh, man. Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. <laughs> Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house.
Um, oh my god. May I just what say? Is the end world? May I just? <laughs> hey, can I tell you? I'm a little jealous. Yeah. I'm a little envious of you right now. Why is that? Because you've been doing your own little curations. This is this is a tier one talk. And I am so upset because I'm upset that I didn't find these. Well, I, mean, I don't know what you're doing to your feed uh, that I'm not doing. <laughs> this this one when I first of all, I mean, you couldn't script something no. funnier <laughs> than this this guy. And what are you meaning? <laughs> what? Mm. So I have a funny question to ask you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, this guy. I mean, watch this this it's, talk again. It's and, phenomenal. And then and then the transition it's from phenomenal. that to be like what, Superman or Batman. Yeah, it's, it, everything about <laughs> this is. Most of saying the N word. What is the N word? What are you guys saying? What, 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 what N word are you meaning? Also. <laughs> Which video would you like me to do one of these? Which one of these guys would want me to do a video with? Superman or Batman? Oh, <laughs> Jesus just Christ. Just so you know, he's holding, if you're just listening, oh, yeah. he's holding a Superman doll and, and a, a Batman, Batman doll. doll. Yeah. And he's like, what's what is, what's the N-word? And then mm. which video do you want to see me do? <laughs> a Batman video? Batman, or, or N-word are you meaning? What a segue. <laughs> it's so hilarious. Big words. But kudos to his parents because I feel like you, you do hear that stuff in the home. You have to be taught those words. Yeah. So if no one's saying that stuff around him. You, you want to give props to mom parents. and dad yeah. for not saying it well <laughs> for not being racist pieces of shit hey you're doing a great job <laughs> <laughs> if you are leaving out horrific racial slurs at home well give a big toast to true. all the parents out there it's true. <laughs> who have not dropped the end bomb this week in the house <laughs> well that is what you just said it is well, may I say because kudos in, to the parents. Because, because in my house, that shit was said a lot. Mm. My my parents dropped n bombs and said every racial. Your slur. parents are pretty racist. Yeah, yeah, everybody was in my house. So to well, yeah, but I mean, how many people is that? <laughs> four parents. I had oh, yeah. two. My husband, then they divorced, and then my step parents were now, racist too. The irony of I've that heard it all is that up. your stepdad may have been the most racist and he was indian and he's an indian immigrant and he would say the n-bomb all the time he's like these effing ends yeah about everything and you're and like, like what about <laughs> you're pretty uh, pretty down there yeah but he was dark. a republican and he donated money to the republican party so he considered himself not mm. he was like i'm a white guy hilarious oh my gosh but that is where you hear it right <sighs> oh i mean where did you hear mom that? dad i'm black <laughs> okay Oh man! Or like a neighbor has to tell you, right? At school, or like some the kids. N-word? Like, when did you first learn the N word? Yeah, like um, where did you hear it? Because your parents don't say that stuff. No, of course not. Oh. Um, no, it's like in school. Yeah, at school some becomes idiot. in school. You learn like taboo words, you know. So kids are like, you know. What I remember they're trying remember? to get me. I remember them in fifth grade. I still hadn't said fuck. What? In fifth grade. Oh my god, dude! I got in trouble in first grade for yelling it during bingo. Yeah, you had a different home. <laughs> Wow. You had a different home. Dude, you know what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, at school they used to call me N word lips because oh. I had big lips for my face. And then I, and now look who's making dollars off of these DSLs now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what? I'm doing two bears or something. Why? <laughs> I <laughs> I'm just being. I didn't say I said it. I said it was said no, to me. No, yeah, I know. And then you're like, look at these lips are doing now. Now look at these. Now they all want to be m- my lips. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop it, guys! Stop pretending like it's so problematic. I'm just reporting the reality. Okay? I got something I, I got to uh, shift to real quick because this. I don't know what the fuck's going on over at Larry King, but. So I did <laughs> Larry King. Yes. When a while um, ago. Yeah, when Instant Family came out. Instant Family came out when um the when the big fires were last year. So it's mm. been yeah, almost a year. Like 9 months or something, right? 10 months. Um and they they only released it in clips. It'd be like if we did an episode of the podcast and we only put out the clips channel. And I was like, "Oh, that's our I mean, you know, I just saw it little clips and I was like, whatever time. Pa- then 
like two weeks ago, they released the full episode. Nine months later. That's so weird. Why would they do that And I'm that like, what? what? So there's, <laughs> there's just like a few. A sen- so people started to hit me up. Hey, I saw you on Larry King. Saw you on Larry King. I'm like, what? Yeah. And I go, no, it's I did weird. that a long time ago. And then I saw that they actually just uploaded it. I don't understand. Why did they do? That's quite a understand. long, quite a long tease. Yeah. Well, maybe they have a like a guy just learning fucking <laughs> Adobe <laughs> Pro or something. Maybe I don't it's, know. is it Larry King himself that's working <laughs> the YouTube like, channel? <laughs> he's like, it's t- it's t- I streamed it, but I don't know. <laughs> Why do so, I title it X X Y nine? So no, he's a really nice guy, but some of, this is gonna make you laugh. Starring alongside Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne in Instagram. Instant family. All right, you share the screen with Mark Ball, Wal, Wal, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Know him a long time. What was that like? <laughs> Woo! Mark Ball, Wal, Wal, Mark Wahlberg. That's so great. Mark Ball, Wal, Wal, Mark Wahlberg. This guy goes to the Lou Holtz School of Broadcasting. <laughs> okay. Oh you ever, my god. You know god. what really makes me feel pressure in a in a weird way? Is yeah. um, rapid fire questions. When they go, I'm gonna ask you this and then move to the next thing, right? Does he prepare you in advance? So you no, know? no, no. No. Oh. So So first it's just an interview, like, you know, talking about the movie. And then they're like, We're gonna do this segment where I'm just gonna be like you know, what's your favorite city? What's your favorite thing? What's what? what I know you like? it's so pressure. I wouldn't know what to say. So you know what I, I what I ended up doing? Mm. I lied, and it happened so fast <laughs> because I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah. And I'll I'll just tell you what. Okay, so here's yeah. here's the, one of the questions. Uh-oh. What's a food you can't stand? I don't really like oysters. I hate <laughs> eggs. You hate eggs? Uh, I hate them. Get out of here! I man. hate them. All anyway, no, poached, fried. Can't stand them. Really. You but really, they're so easy on the gums. You ready? Yeah. I love oysters. <laughs> I do. I just, I, I, I love oysters. Oh, that's so funny. I eat them all the time. What? I had three dozen oysters last Why week. did that come to you then? Because I couldn't think of a food that I hate and, and I wanted <laughs> to answer quickly. But you know what I do hate? It starts with an O, olives. Oh. I think I was trying to search for it and I just didn't want to draw a blank. And I just was like, yeah, I'm not oysters. I love oysters. <laughs> <laughs> I just lied so that I would have something to say. That's so funny that you said, you know what I fucking hate more than anything mm. is like chicken, like chicken breast. You, it yeah, you don't like chicken breast. It fucking angers me. I make them all the time. It tastes like dry pussy and I hate it. Mm. Just a dry pussy meat. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. I just feel like I'm I eating it. Eat pussy. Dry pussy. Okay. Why did you say oysters? You do love you eat. I'm telling you, it was, a, it was panic. It was a panic where when he's like, so what is like? What's your answer? And I just wouldn't be like, I can't think of some <laughs> I don't like. So I just threw out a food, but it's not oysters. You look it's, how handsome you look. I love your uh, silver whiskers. Thank you. They look cute. People tell me I'm old, and I like your blue jacket. Uh, that is a nice jacket. You're not old. You look great. That's a nice jacket. Oysters. Yeah, you do like them. Are you ready for? Yeah. What's your other lie? Well, no. This is this, that. That was the only lie. But here's, <laughs> here's uh. The, the, hold on. Guilty pleasure. Chocolate souffle. Soccer souffle. Chocolate <laughs> souffle. Oh, chocolate <laughs> souffle. Yeah. Isn't that the best? Yeah, it takes a while to make. <laughs> it does. And I actually took a French <laughs> cooking class, and I learned how to make it, and I gained about twenty-two pounds in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Socklet souffle. Soccer souffle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the French. Uh-huh. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my God. Mark Ball, Mark Ball, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still on? Te- this isn't on television anymore, right? No, this is on YouTube. Okay, so he's doing it himself. Yeah, I mean, he has a whole crew. There's right. Like, no, yeah. but I'm saying like he's not like on a network anymore. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. No. No. And then this is. What literally, I'm not exaggerating, this literally made my mother call me weeping. Oh, no. She, crying. Yeah. Is there something you long believed to be true and then realized wasn't? Jesus is our Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> he laughed he at that. He let you down. <laughs> 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 crying. Crying. She cried, and then she spoke to me about it, yeah. and she goes, this it's okay r- if Tommy calls me a whore you know. and a piece of chet, but... 
he cannot talk about Jesus like that. No, and I, and I didn't say Jesus anything. I was like, that. well, I'm sure it. I go, it, I'm sure he didn't mean it, and you know, it's just part of it. Yeah. How do you like your life, Charo? <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that gambling, Charo? Charo. That's what I say to her. How do you like it? Oh, Jenny. Jenny laughed so hard. That man. was a great answer, though. Shock and souffle. I mean, <laughs> uh, that is a good answer for what. That was a really yeah, good, answer. good answer. For on the spot, that was really good. Yeah. I don't think I would have come up with something that. I, I'm great. a professional comedian. Yeah. <laughs> don't you gender yourself. <clears throat> no, I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow, he really uh no, he look how great. big that font is on that paper too. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking like eighty seven or something. Fuck. Right? Yeah. He's had like how many wives now, Larry? Jane? Seven. Saka souffle. A shaka souffle. Saka souffle. Saka souffle. <laughs> Wait, say Mark Wahlberg again. Oh. <laughs> Mark wow 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 watch this bullshit. You gotta watch him do it. Starring alongside Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne in Instant Family. All right, you share the screen with Mark, Bo- Wa- Wa- Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Know him a long time. What was that like? Oh, Larry. Uh, Man. I could. We, we just. We should just end the show. I know. Right now. <laughs> Nature is a bitch. That is not far off for you and me. We're halfway there. Yeah. True. God, it's terrible. Imagine if we're still doing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> At eighty. Yeah. Look at this guy masturbating. This guy. <laughs> and going, he, I told you. Larry King is 80, He's 86 six years old, yeah. you guys. Wow. Do you, wow. Remember, do you remember when uh do you remember when Seinfeld snapped at him? <sighs> I don't. Uh do you remember that? Seinf- Over what? Seinfeld was on when it was on CNN and um Larry King, it was just after the show, I think, had ended, and he was like, So, you know, you're on for nine years, you get canceled. And he goes, Cancelled? He goes, it's the number oh. one show. Like, I voluntarily yeah. took the, like, stop doing it. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, what you canceled? And he's like, so pissed about Hilarious. It. I like when Seinfeld gets mad. Oh, it's great. It's it's like, remember when Kesha wanted a hug? And he was like, don't, I don't want to like, fucking hug you. Like, I love it yeah. every now and then. Just that little darkness creeps out. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, he's awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. And then he goes back to like, where's my sock? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Because yeah. we've all got the darkness in us as comedians. And yeah. when it comes out of Jerry, I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Very rare. Mark, wah, 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 Mark, wah, 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 I like Mark Ballberg uh, better. <laughs> so you were gone. <laughs> Uh, you to were gone. Pustin. Thank you, everybody that came out in Pustin. It was phenomenal. So many mommies. Yeah. And I, I do meet and greets after my show, and everybody, everybody was like, "You're the personality champ." Tom would never meet me after a show, and I was like, "I know." True. But then they all said that you were, you look good, you look thin, and mm. that they're excited to see your Spanish shows coming up. I can't wait. Um, uh, I got a bunch of Spanish shows coming up. I cannot believe that they're, uh, people are they're snapping up tickets, man. It's exciting. I'm really excited yeah. for you. It's pretty wild to feel like you're going to do this show. I, I have like the excitement of when you do stand-up like your first year. Oh, my God. Because you know, I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea. It's really taking a leap. I'm yeah. so impressed by you. That's really smart. Well, I don't You're know. You're smart. You might let's talk to me after. What was night. your SAT? I think you did better than me. It was pretty bad. Mine's really dumb. Mine Wait, was pretty bad. I don't think I, I barely. Here's the thing. A I uh, I definitely. It's not great, and <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what I got the first time, and then I took it again, and it, it went down, <laughs> and then I, like, I took a, the, another practice one, and it went down again. They're like, just stick to the first one, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're like you lucked out yeah. on a few guesses. So yeah, yeah. Uh, my whole school score was verbal, uh, not math. I think I had like three something. My my <laughs> um, guidance counselor uh-huh. like from so he would it, it, the school had a few of them, and then they would. I don't know if your school worked like that. So like each the school had various guidance counselors who were also teachers, and they would be assigned a certain bank of students yes and um this guy was a science teacher at our school when he was in high school he scored a uh, 1600 perfect and um yeah and then he um really brilliant guy he was really nice to me but he was like he was like look man (laughs) yeah do you want to go to school (laughs) 
<laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, I'm looking at your grades and your, you're yeah. like, what do you, uh, what? yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I like school. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, he recommended the school I went to. Oh, right? that's good. Yeah. But I go, he goes, you should check out. And he looked at this piece of, but he's like, Lenore Ryan. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? And he's like, it's a school in North Carolina. I was like, what the fuck? Why would I go? I've never heard of that. He's like, go check it out. <laughs> Thank God. Well, then I checked it out and I was like, I don't want to go here. <laughs> But then I applied because he had told me to apply. And then I got turned down by every other school. Yeah. So that's why I went to Lenore Ryan. I know. I, know. I, had, I literally had one option. <laughs> and then I tried to transfer after my freshman year. I was like, this school fucking sucks. <laughs> so I applied to other schools to transfer and they were all like, no. No, you're too dumb for yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my guidance counselor too was like, Do you, have you considered community college? And I was like, I don't want to go. I want to go away. I want to go to a four-year college and get out of my house. You yeah. Know? And I got into the University of San Francisco on the wait list even. I think I, I was, didn't know that. No, I wasn't waitlisted. I was on a, sorry, probationary. I could only take 12 credits, 12 units, and I had to take a college success course my first semester. What is that? It means that I was so stupid. They're they like, don't know how to go to school. Yeah. yeah. I had to take a college and yeah, and I was on probation. So if I didn't do well, I was going to get kicked out. Dude, I got I turned so down. so stupid. I got turned down by <laughs> schools that had like 90% acceptance rates. <laughs> I also had the most embarrassing thing happen. I think I've told this story before. Uh. So my first choice was Denver, right? University. Mm -hmm. And I applied and I got turned down. And when I applied there, my best friend applied there and he got accepted. And did, he didn't go. He just was like, oh, you're applying there? I'll apply there. He got accepted. Um, my dad finds out. He writes a letter to the school <gasps> without oh me knowing. And, I was, and like he's like, he tells them to compare. Because like I had higher SAT without me knowing. So I just see a letter that comes. An, another, I'm like, Denver sent another letter? And he's like, oh, I wrote them a letter. I was like, What? He's like, yeah, I told them to like reconsider. I mean, I, I understand now that he did it out of, but I was like, you know how fucking embarrassing this is, man? Like, I didn't ask you to do this. You wrote them a letter being yeah. like, will you consider reconsidering <laughs> like, to a college? Oh my God, it was humiliating, you know? I was like, dude. Well, don't. it's humiliating because it didn't work. And they're like, you're still not getting it. Yeah, mm, yeah, you're that's still true. Stupid. But it's also like, <laughs> I hate shit like that. Like, don't fucking. Yeah. Don't do anything on my behalf. No. I, yeah. I, it absolutely enraged me. I mean, yeah. it absolutely enraged me. I was like, just let me be dumb. Yeah. You know? I know. Let me figure it out. Yeah. Your kids, Don't the dummies have to figure it out. And then they were like, yeah, we got your, your letter telling us that your son is not R-worded. Yeah. And we begged to differ. <laughs> like, we did the evaluation. Yeah. He's fully retarded. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's retarded. <laughs> okay. Just, all right, how many times? I'll say as much as I want. Jesus. What, are you going to fire me from my own podcast? Okay. You use the L word. That's Go ahead, take it away. Good. What am not I not going to host the awards? I'll tell you who might year? be R worded Don't is my aunt. Shit. She oh came to my the house. God, You're fully. lucky you were in fucking Houston. <sighs> so I had my aunt and uncle in town. This is my mother's sister, okay? And her husband, they stop by the house while you're gone, see the kids. And man, the fucking questions, mm. the questions, right? We had a, a couch that was, that's getting reupholstered. So there's another, she goes, what happened to the couch that was here? <laughs> Did you sell it? And I go, no, it's getting reupholstered. You bought another one? No, it's getting reupholstered. <laughs> what is, where, are the, where is it now? At the reupholstery place. Who is it? Who cuts your grass? Uh, a gardener. <laughs> when, when does he cut it? On Wednesdays? Yeah. We every care. Wednesday? Yeah. Why not every other Wednesday? Oh I don't know. Oh, God. You'd save money if he came every other Wednesday. I guess so. <laughs> does he water the grass? The grass? No, it's, there's a sprinkler system. Uh, do you program it? No, he does. <laughs> how does he know how much water to put on the... I'm like, what the fuck are you doing right now? Oh, my God. I mean, this went on... I'm not kidding you. 30 minutes machine gun style oh my God. dun 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 and i was just like at the end of it i when she left 
I sunk into the chair. I actually felt my insides fucking yeah. shutting down. I go, I need to take a nap. Like she, she sucked. They, they sucked the life force right out of you. I mean, what is with all the fucking all the questions? fucking questions? Do you I know, know what I would do? We use this fertilizer. Um, oh. that, and it ha- I'm like, why are you doing this to me right oh now? Oh my god, I hate it when people ask me inane questions. Like, is it really that interesting? One time I was eating spaghetti squash in front of your aunt. Yeah. And all you do is bake the, you cut it in half, you bake it, and then you take a fork and you rake out the squash. Well, you would have thought that I was uh, splitting cells in a fucking Petri dish because she came over, what are you eating? And I'm like, it's squash. How are you doing this? I'm like, I'm just fine. Like, I'm starving too at the same time. Like, I was so angry Ugh. and I was so mean. I shouldn't have been mean to her, but I was like, it's it's nothing. It's, I'm just, I don't know. Like I, I couldn't answer. I went to one time, she asked me for help. It was like Thanksgiving and she didn't do anything because she couldn't find the saran wrap or the the kind. Do you have tin foil? I'm like, no, I just, whatever, just cover it in anything. I don't fucking care. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so they can't adapt. No, she made my. I hate people that can't adapt. My brain fucking shut down. Oh my god! Speaking of, do you know what I f- was noticing mm. on my um, travels this weekend? Or can I have your phone just to sh- to show you? Yeah. I always observe older white guys yeah. in terminals. It's my favorite thing to do. I like to see how they dress. I like to see how they behave. This is this is the older parent. Well, mostly older white guy move. They hold their phone in their left hand and then they use their index finger to navigate and pushy button. Like you don't do that, right? Everybody knows it's thumb action. Like you have to be super yeah, fucking course. old. That's yeah, but that's, my dad does it. Yeah, old people goes, use their pointer. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll he'll like worst. dictate to you. You think you could put this in there? I'm like put it in there. <laughs> like, it's like it's a special code. <laughs> it's just fucking da 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 da. She did this by the way. So she goes. Your mother said when you are <laughs> in Australia, you had to, you met some animals. I was like, yeah, I got to <laughs> hold koalas and kangaroos. She said you had <sighs> pictures. Oh, go, no. Yeah. So then I, I opened my, my folder of photos and I just quickly create an album of just like 10 photos. Right. I just go like I select them and I go just otherwise she's going to be like swiping through the phone for a fucking hour. So I, I create the folder, I put 10 photos in it, emu, kangaroos, koalas. She, she goes. <laughs> Huge swipe. Huge. Huge swipe. Swipe. Huge. Huge swipe. And then she's like, well, how did you get oh to hold God. the koala? I'm like, I went to the animal sanctuary and they just let you hold them? Oh my God. I'm like, well, it's not, they're not roaming freely. It's a section, and then you just get to hold them. Well, if you get in the line, how many people are in oh the line? Oh, my God. It doesn't 30 matter. People. And then they all get to hold them, not at the same time, but yeah. And then do they tell you what the koala eats? Yeah, they mention it. Yeah, it's eucalyptus. Eucalyptus? How can you eat that? Uh, they're fucking animals. I don't know. They just eat it. I mean, it's, it was like... I hate it. To the point where I was like, <laughs> man, I don't fucking... I really was like, you know, soccer souffle. I mean, I was <laughs> didn't know what the fuck was yeah. happening. I think I hate when people ask me details questions? about inane things. Yeah, yeah, like questions about shit that it's not really interesting to me. Therefore, it's I, I don't want to go over it, like hashing out the details of it yeah. with you. I don't like it. I, I get know. really fucking irritated. When no, people, this, this believe me, this this had quite an effect on me. I, I, I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. Um, well, one exciting thing happened to me with the Kreischers this last week. So oh, yeah. Josh Adam Myers sent me um, a text that was like coronavirus found in your neighborhood and click on this link to read more. And uh, and of course, I click on it and he got me. It was a picture of a, of a huge dude with his dong out. Yeah, it's a he's like a famous meme this guy. I've seen him for years. Oh, it's so great. It's a big black guy sitting on the end of a bed and he's got just he's he's enormous. Like he's he's he looks like a fucking lineman and he's got a big big old fucking stinky cock hanging yeah. up there. I mean, oh, here looks, it is. Yeah, there it Here's is. Here's what I sent Bert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So I sent it to Bert and Leanne, knowing that <laughs> Look at be this guy. because they're parents. Look at his eyes. It's so He's great. He's like, I, I just woke up, but yep. I still got this dick. <laughs> it's such a big dong, too. It's, it's so awesome. So, it is so awesome. Yeah. It's just a fucking great picture. And yeah. anyways, so... But so I sent it to Bert and Leanne. <laughs> Nobody said it. it's just a great picture. I think it's hilarious, <laughs> and and ap and appetizing. I get yes. real hungry when yeah. I see that photo. I don't know why. I want to eat yeah. chili dogs. Anyway, okay. So then, uh, and I, I wrote. I go read the article because I wanted Leanne to click on it because I had a, a worry in the back of my mind that she would just forward it to other moms. So I was yeah. like, hey, read the article. Like hint, hint. Right. But what you didn't know yeah. is that she was <laughs> on a plane about to take <laughs> off, and so. <laughs> Uh, I got this from Bert when she when they <laughs> when they when they sent it to her. She tried to click it, and it, she was in between like <laughs> Wi-Fi and you know yeah. cell service. Yeah, and she was like, oh, and, and so she just copied, pasted, <laughs> and sent it to the softball moms on fifteen moms, and then she sent it to Georgia and Isla, and then they took off, and they're like, oh. and then when she landed, she she goes, something must have happened. Bert and she go, he goes why she goes I got 25 text messages and he said the the answers were like from the moms were like oh my goodness I had uh, I had something similar happen in college was like, <laughs> like they all started like hitting her with and then so finally were, somebody was like oh I don't think God. you clicked this before you sent it and she was like uh oh and then she jumped and then she goes uh she's uh she immediately called Georgia she's like did you click that link she was like yeah what the fuck mom <laughs> Georgia thought it was funny, and then they go. She goes like, "Isla, did you click it?" And she was like, "Yeah, it's pretty scary. Uh, we all got to take better care of ourselves. <laughs> like, <laughs> looks pretty, pretty serious health hazard." So Isla did not click yeah. on it. Yeah. See, that's funny. I didn't know the whole genesis of that part. Yeah. All I heard later, like Bert texted me. He's like, "Push." Leanne sent this to like 50 moms yeah. and I started laughing and then I felt so bad for Leanne because I'm like oh is she mad at me dude because I did not mean to sabotage her because she's not a comic you know like, I know but so I'm like oh dude I'm so sorry oh, uh, so great super though super funny and then, so thank you Josh Adam Myers for the he's the origin of that text. he is yeah he's got a, he's got a bunch of good ones like that <laughs> He sent that other one that you tried to <laughs> try to get me with. Yeah, he's got some good good he's material. Got some good one. Uh. Um, so Blue Band, uh, as you guys know, was in China, brought back the Wuhan coronavirus. Yeah, thanks, dude. And he has dude. infected any. So, um, you know, these Great. guys uh, won't be here much longer. <laughs> well, you know, we're doing our best. We're still showing up to work, as you can see. You know, and people still switching. keep Aww. commenting that you really. Um, are dressing to the nines and yeah. they're like what's going on and i keep telling people he's got that danny swag <laughs> yeah yeah it's like if i got it i'm gonna flaunt it how do you uh are you you're happy with your danny stuff <sighs> i don't think good. i've ever been happier with clothes that you, I've you look great yeah. Thank the, you. the clothes have made the man i'm telling you and you don't need an excuse to wear it just wear it yeah yeah you yeah, deserve I just, it i just like looking good i like feeling good and then, you know, mix it and match it with all my uh, uh, super authentic, like Supreme <laughs> and Air Jordan. and Yeah, Yeezy that's sweater. really fucking Yeah, cool. it's like a little mix and match, you know. I'm bringing a little street to it. I really like it. Trying to drip. Yeah. It looks great. But yeah, um, you know, coronavirus, uh, I, I just want everyone to know because they've been asking. The incubation period is two weeks. I'm way past the two-week mark. I can't speak for any. I think he <sighs> might have the, 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 the snake... Uh, the snake aids but great yeah fuck it man <laughs> fuck it <laughs> so uh, that's how you live yeah just fuck it fuck it i'll get yeah. rid of it true yeah you got sick with this last week yeah i mean the the bad the bad symptoms are gone though i, I had the I had the hot eyes that was bad and i was uh i don't have the hot eyes i never even heard of that know. before just keep them in the booth, okay? Yeah, I just don't. Then don't touch my phone. Don't, don't touch me, my dog. Don't meet the guests. Don't meet you the stay guests. Stay in there. Just stay there. We'll bring your lunch in here. Man. Yeah, yeah. Shut the door behind him. <laughs> I'll just chill here, guys. Don't worry about it. Thank you. I won't talk to him. How's Thank your dumps? You. Have you been crapping? Uh, no, sickness makes it way. I mean, in my opinion, better, but you'd probably say worse. Now, you and I are both fond of the sour belts. That oh. does. That makes me shit like crazy because I'll eat a whole bag of them. And the acidity of them makes me crap. It doesn't make you shit. 
Damn. No, I, Have it, you not picked up on that nothing makes him shit? Well, I just <laughs> figured, like, I don't know. No, no I had uh, I had one of those, the big, like, the huge containers of them. And yeah. I've already had, like, half of them in, like, a couple weeks. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. It okay. doesn't matter. Well, I'm excited yeah. to hear your bowel movement updates. Will you keep me posted? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I've been I've been uh, tracking it actually on my stories because I oh. never, because it's the thing I always forget. You guys always ask me when's the last time, and I don't remember. So I'm putting it on stories. Great! Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow! Shout just, out! Just so a little emoji. Once a month, you get just, a cool little emoji. There you go. <laughs> just so I know. <laughs> just so I remember. That's uh, exciting. Thank you. <laughs> oh, can we please uh, visit Charles? Sure. I miss What's him. going on? It's Charles. It's Charles. Uh, you guys remember Charles, God right? God damn it. How can I forget? What's going on? It's Charles from Match. Just wanted to do a video instead of a text or a phone call. I've been here, <laughs> I don't know, since 7.30 doing... No, so, no, please, please. What are you doing? More. I just like him. What, I'm setting something up. What All are you doing? All right. Man? Come on. I enjoy... <sighs> my actually my new office i really like it not gonna lie and it's got this really cool view where are we no there we go hey ah uh, there we go <laughs> <laughs> there you go there's charles just giving everybody a refresher so that you don't um shit all over your pants when i tell you what's about to happen do you remember hey mommy thanks jeans of course where we told you how we were ordering in the Starbucks mm. drive thru and then you guys went to the drive throughs and you mm. started to place orders, <laughs> record them, <laughs> sent them in. It was it's honestly one of my favorite things yes. in the history of doing this podcast. In the nearly ten years, <laughs> that probably made me laugh the hardest. Well step aside, <laughs> hey mommies, because <laughs> What's going on? It's Charles from Match. <laughs> Just want to do a video instead of a text or a phone call. <laughs> I've been here since, I don't know, 7.30? <laughs> Doing some little point work. You know, typing them. It's going in a report. They're coming in. I actually have a new office. What's going on? It's Charles from Match. Just wanted to do a video instead of a text or a phone call. I've been here, I don't know, since 7.30, uh, doing some little little video um, <laughs> little video editing, I should say. I had to zoom in on that. Going up on this YouTube point. later. And um, and my office, actually, my, my new office, uh, <laughs> really, really like it, actually, not going to lie. Uh, it's got this really cool view. Uh, where where are we? Where are we? Uh, hey, oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we haven't talked since, uh, I think, Saturday. So tonight, I'm looking at Lily's in <laughs> Union Square. I'm going to be there uh, around 8 o'clock, 8.15. And uh, I'm going to be in a fantastic mood. Uh, uh, like, yeah. You know what I always get confused by on these mm. videos, Charles, is that by the Why way, that is was Don first, and this is James. That wonderful work, you guys. The, I'm really impressed. But it always confuses me why Charles is in a good mood because he has so much work to do. Well, Why would that make him happy? That makes well, me upset. But think about it, reaching out to a potential suitor, a date, and being like, I'm at fucking work. I'm going to go on a <laughs> date later. I got a bunch of shit to do. I don't even know why I'm fucking texting you right now. That's true. It's so, like negative Nancy yeah, energy. Yeah, you got to be like, hey, I'm a fucking... Plus, I think that's who Charles is. He's a positive, upbeat. He's a, he's a positive guy. It's like when your husband gets a new girlfriend, and, and I'm just, so happy for you, you and all that, that NRE. NRE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. I'm just so happy for you guys. Feels good, um, man. Mm. What's going on? <laughs> it's Charles from Match. Uh, just wanted to do a little video. I've got like, I'm looking around, I got like post-it notes. Uh, I have my uh, to-do list and everything else. And uh, you know, it's, it's just everything's around me. I've got, you know, the rubber gloves, the, the, the bleach, the chloroform, uh, the zip ties. So, uh, oh, and of course, uh, I've got my uh, ice latte. <laughs> uh, but anyway uh shoot me a text shoot me a text and let me know if eight o'clock works uh <laughs> because i could do eight thirty, 
but uh, a little bit earlier might might be tough just because <laughs> I I do have a lot to do. So uh, shoot me a call, or or uh, I'll I'll have Karen I'll have Karen my secretary call. Uh, she'll she'll call <laughs> you. Karen. Caller. <laughs> well, Karen. I- Oh, he man. has Charles's laugh down. He's got, he's got it down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's going on? It's Charles from Match. I just wanted to do a quick video instead of a text or a phone call. This is depressing, Charles. Since, I don't know, about 7.30, doing some video, video editing, I should say, <laughs> for this video that's going up on YouTube. And uh, I got this brand new fucking office, man. I don't know why. Take a look. I'm pretty excited. Got this killer view. <laughs> oh my anyway, God. these are so good. Uh, we haven't talked, uh, I think, since Saturday. <laughs> and tonight I'm looking at Lily's in Union <laughs> Square. Uh, I'd say about 8 o'clock, 8.15. And uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do. I mean, I'm going to be in a pretty good mood. I, I got a bunch of post-it notes going around here. I got my, my iced latte. <laughs> and anyway, shoot me a call or shoot me a text, whatever you'd like. God. Let me know if 8 o'clock works. I can do 8.30 maybe, but any earlier than that might be tough because I do have a lot to do. And um did I say my name in the beginning? It's Charles. <laughs> Dude. It's a very interesting interpretation That's of the text. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I never saw it going this route to like a deeply depressed <laughs> person in a dark room. And it's very funny. It's a very it's- funny take. I also um, like his view is of a poster of New York City, oh, which that's is great. Fantastic. That that's is Jordan. Very clever. And before him was Trevor. Oh, my God. So uh, really enjoying oh. uh, your guys' interpretations <laughs> of Charles, uh, the great Charles, <sighs> who I, I want to make sure. I, um, do you know? <laughs> hold on. Is this? Uh, like- um, anyway, we haven't talked, I think, since Saturday. So uh, tonight... I'm looking at Lily's in Union Square. Oh, say around eight o'clock, eight fifteen, and I'm gonna be in a fantastic mood then because I have so much to do. I'm looking at my to-do list all around. I've like posted notes and everything else, and I got my my ice latte. <laughs> oh, so is there? Have you heard? Uh, can you give me the update here? Oh What's going on God. with Charles? So uh, he is aware of us. <laughs> okay. It was brought to my attention that he, I think, got into the comment section of that video where we okay. premiered him. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a video where he responds to being in the show. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want me to tell you it now or prep it for next week. Oh, just tell me now. So, uh, yeah. So there was a bit where he was like, yeah, you know, they, they put me in a show. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I guess any exposure is good exposure. Um, uh, the lady that tweeted this out, he's like, he sent this to her five years ago. Okay. And he just starts going like, yeah, this is how good her life is. She's posting something that I sent her five years ago. Hope everything's going well. Like stuff like that. But other than that, he seems like a pretty well-rounded guy. Yeah. Like we were looking into his channel to see like what other funny stuff we could find. Yeah. But it's all... It's all kind of not funny, you know? He's kind of like a self-help type of dude. Right, right. Charles he, is a guy who's got his shit together. No, he's I, a positive yeah, he's guy. A sweet, I mean, you know. Super positive and guy. He does, hates Charles. I, I, yeah. uh, I saw that he fucking posts videos just alone talking of like, like 55 minutes. Like, hey, remember, you got to yeah. take it every opportunity you can get and just will yeah rant what i just said like uh like his response to the video yeah or, or to us showing his video happened in minute 45 of a video that he posted <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> did you have to scan that whole video uh someone did okay, okay. <laughs> someone <laughs> sent it into us and gave us a time code i think Oof. well i think charles is um there's a charm to him because you know he's not malicious he wasn't like good morning julia where that guy was clearly no, mentally yeah. ill no, and no, a predator. No. Like this guy is just. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry, uh, but Charles is just shooting a shot. Yeah, like he was taking it. He was trying to impress a girl, and he, you know, made a video that, you know, 
Here's, he's, here's, he's endearing. He's sweet. He, he is very endearing. This is yeah. probably a more important update for most of the listeners. You guys remember uh, <laughs> episode two of Piss Pots that we caught. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, episode two of Piss Pots. Oh. I want a random Stop. road. I'm pulling my dick out. I want a random <laughs> road. I'm going to piss in this monster can. <laughs> piss <laughs> Pots. <I> talk. <laughs> Oh, on episode well, we, two, we found episode one. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I hate starting shows out of sequence. So, are, we, are we binge watching today? <laughs> this, this is a tough one to put together. You start episode two, you're like, how the f- where how did we get here? <laughs> well, now we can finally figure is it out. Is there a recap? Because <laughs> <laughs> also, if you don't remember, uh, uh. in episode two of Piss Pots, <laughs> <laughs> he mentions that he's in his car drunk <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> That's right. It's central oh, to the plot. Yeah, needed. Much needed. Yeah. So I'm thinking this series is going to be wherever I need to fucking piss when I'm drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. So it's All solid right. premise. Oh, I piss on my, myself. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. it does make sense. It's a good TV I'm show. I'm thinking this series will be just me <laughs> pissing when I'm drunk. Today I'm in my car. <laughs> Uh, well, you guys want to see how it all started? <laughs> you remember when George Lucas <laughs> made Star Wars and it was just a wild idea? This is pretty similar. Pissing in random places. <laughs> this is episode one. Part one, I'm at the seawall in the Oakland In Beach. his car, though. Warwick, Rhode Island. Yeah. Oh, Check right. it out. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Lo- on location. <laughs> pretty cool. You got the Traveling c- episodes. Nice to have the car freshener. Well... The black car, black yeah. ice car refreshener. I am not racist. Okay. So I'm not. <laughs> uh, hello. Got to make that distinction. Right, pissing in a cup. Hmm. Well, you know, you laugh at the idea of a series based on piss pots, but yeah. I mean, it's happened. They've made TV show. I mean, uh, movies out of Pirates of the Caribbean, highly successful franchise. You're, so you're, you're Haunted comparing Mansion. the two? Haunted Mansion. They've made uh, uh, movies out of that. I'm just saying, I'm not going to be surprised if Hollywood is like a traveling drunk guy on location. He in, travels, he Island. finds himself. Finds himself a place to piss. piss isn't <laughs> All right. So we piss in the cup. Let's <laughs> show uh, the piss. <laughs> oh my wow. God. It's, he needs to drink. That's too bright. That's bright yellow. Yeah. He's very... Uh, either he's drinking... That's the piss. His vitamins. All right. Let's... Uh, hold on. Let's rest that there. Hopefully he doesn't spill. Put my dick away. All righty. Episode let's, one uh, is riveting. It, uh, I guess dump it out. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably dump it out. <laughs> it's good that he's uh, driving. He's driving again. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> All right, so <coughs> almost I'm to the end. You the piss spot. Uh, this piss spot. Gets, oh, is it piss know. spots? I'd say five yeah, out of ten spot. piss bottles. Oh, oh. oh. whole time yeah. I thought it was piss pots. Yeah, this yeah. He's really missing an opportunity there. It's piss spots. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, now the branding makes more sense. So he's, he's like finding it's spots spot. to piss. It's that spot. Mm-hmm. And then he's gonna Brilliant. he's gonna recommend places. See, I'm where not you an ideas speak. guy. This guy's got all the ideas. <laughs> But babe, is he going to be like a connoisseur of places to piss when That's you're what drunk? It is. And then he's like, "I like this area." That's what this is. No, yeah. th- this is different than piss pots, though. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Oh, it is. Because before it was just about the container, the piss pot, and now it's piss spot. Yeah. Now this is a good show. He is like the Anthony Bourdain. Yes. The piss pots. Yes. 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 <laughs> good job. Really good. All right, so. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna review cough. the piss spot. Uh, this piss spot. Yeah, did I move it to the wrong screen? I'd say five out of ten piss bottles. Oh, oh five out of ten. Oh, five out of ten piss bottles. Okay. What is that? I feel like I uh, <laughs> I moved it. Is, is, there we oh, go. there he is. Right. I don't want to miss a moment of well, piss spots. Of piss spots. <laughs> no, of course not. Nobody wants to miss it. Um, <laughs> we're just so you know, oh. we're almost at the end of episode <laughs> one. I just wanted to give everybody. Is there, <laughs> there going to be a, a cliffhanger to keep us locked Let's in? Let's see. So we binge. I don't know. It's kind of coagulated with people. Whatever. Well, All right. Five out of ten piss bottles. This was a, five out of ten. A, a spot piss review with Joey Herbs, and I will catch you retards on uh, the <laughs> next video.
<laughs> well, he does know his audience. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'd say, who is dumber, him or us, for Ooh. watching it or him for making it? Because uh. <laughs> I feel pretty dumb that I'm enjoying this. You use the hour. Yeah. I do enjoy piss That's spots. a really <laughs> cool way to <laughs> sign off with your audience. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Now, I will, I will say <laughs> that I looked into his channel, yeah. Yeah. and there's only two episodes what? of what? Piss Spots. No. Episode two was uploaded eight months ago. Oh, And same man. with episode one. So it looked like he was on a train, and then- I'm going to guess. I'm going to I'm gonna throw a wild <laughs> guess out there and say there might be a jail stint <laughs> <laughs> in his timeline. Yeah, oh man! I think something's definitely keeping. And I also, up. I'm going to take another wild guess <laughs> and say that it won't be his first offense <laughs> for whatever he's in for right now. This is not—he's not new to how DUIs work. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's not like what? It, it could be public ex- uh, indecency, right? It could be a public handful. Exposure. There's it, a lot going on. Look, it could even yeah. be Saka souffle. It could be. <laughs> how much would you love prison piss spots, though? Uh, I, I would. Know. I would watch the shit out of I that. I prefer to see him park somewhere. It's just, a fun spin off. Yeah, <laughs> pee. It's pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> Piss spots, man. man, man. It's pretty crazy. Oh, uh, I really like this guy's work. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Oh, God. All right, guys. Uh, if you want to see me live doing stand-up, I have a uh, see in Spanish, February 13th and 20th. That's Oxnard in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, I'll be in Las Vegas March 6th and 7th at the Mirage in Las Vegas, of course, at Terry Fator Theater. April 18th, I am at Harris in Valley Center, California. That is near the San Diego area, as I understand. Uh, then it's back to Spanish, Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio, April 20 through 23rd. Then back to Vegas. I'm doing a bunch of shows there um, at the Mirage, the 29th and 30th. West Palm Beach, June 5th and 6th. And a Spanish show in Miami on the 7th. And then I'm back in Vegas again, July and October. Those are all at TomSegura.com slash tour. Thank you very much for supporting me. Gene? Gene, I'm doing Tampa coming up on Valentine's Day weekend. Cobb's Comedy Club in Manfred Disco. I'm thinking, ah, 8, 8 o'clock, 815 show. Yeah. Pasadena, March 7th. I'm doing the Miami Improv. I'm doing Addison, Tejas, Caroline's Comedy Club in Jew Dork Titties. Dance down. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm having Shuli Agar open for me at Caroline's. I'm so excited. Asshole. Des Moines, Iowa, the funny bone. I'm having just <laughs> And I just added new Westminster, British Columbia. I have not done my motherland in so long. You're doing the House of Comedy there? Yeah. Yeah, oh, sir. I'm oh, nice. so excited to go to Canada. Nice. Fartnicks, Arizona, stand up live, Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities. Oh! <laughs> And then San Antonio Tejas at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. Tickets at Christina P. Online. Cool. <laughs> this might be my favorite episode of just drops and I clips know. that we've had in it's forever. Pretty fantastic. It's so freaking good, homie. Okay. We'll be back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk about Best Fiends. I am hooked on this game. I play it on the airplane for hours. I'm on level 41 now. And I like it because it's challenging, but not too, you know when you're too involved and it's annoying? It's yes. not annoying. The characters are super cute. I like the sounds. I like the prizes I win. I like everything about Best Fiends and I am totally into it. Try it out. Best Fiends updates the game monthly with new levels, so it never gets old. Um, and then you can play it when you're traveling, which is what I do, because it doesn't require internet, which is great, and it is free uh, to download. Engage your brain with fun puzzles and collect tons of cute characters. Trust me, with over 100 million downloads, this five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must Play. Download Best Fiends free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends.
Mwah. 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 That is the sound of a nice pair of lips on your freshly shaved balls. Breaking news, this important PSA is brought to you by Manscaped.com. This is your public service announcement. The Manscaped engineering team has spent 18 months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. I mistakenly thought this was out a while ago. I was talking about it and people kept hitting me up. Where's the 3.0? Where's the 3.0? And then Manscaped was like, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. We're back in the lab. We're trimming guys' balls every day. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of guys here with their balls out and, and there's hair everywhere and we just don't have it right. But they have it right now. I've been talking about this. I'm a big fan of this, uh, of the 3.0, of, of Manscaped just in, in general. And I've, I've used the 2.0. This is an easy transition. It's the same replacement blade with a new and improved skin-safe technology. Uh, when I tell you premium, this is absolutely premium. The battery will last up to 90 minutes. If it takes you more than 90 minutes to shave your balls, you need to have one of your balls removed. Okay? How many balls do you have in there? Six? We have two. So... Just trim your balls, use the LED light, which illuminates the grooming area. It's great because it gets back under your taint, and you can even get it near your hole and just shave everything all up and then just ask a nice person to slip it in their mouth. They've also upgraded the 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. Don't forget about the charging stand. Shows it off loud and proud, powered by USB. If you're listening to me speak right now, you're one of the first people to hear about this life-changing product. I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself and your balls. Trim that junk. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. And as always, your balls will thank you once again. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use our code word MOM. And we're back <laughs> with the royal ranter himself, an amazing <laughs> actor, podcaster, comedian, Michael Rappaport's Hello. here, everybody. Thanks Thank you for today. having me. Thanks for coming in. Oh, the dog, dog barked. barked. She's a fan, too. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking. You know, it's funny because uh, you are a fantastic actor, but it even stands out how, how much better of an actor you are when the public gets to see who you are your real persona in other words you know a lot of actors their whole thing is like uh, whatever they'll do interviews and they'll be like yes no right and then they're like you know i just want you to see my characters you've gone the route of being like yourself yeah everybody gets to see who michael Rappaport really is yeah and then we get to see you act and i think it makes it stand out more how good of an actor you are well i appreciate that i i mean you know it, it's the the you know the we were talking about atypical that character in particular is so and that's like what i'm doing the most right now acting it, that character is so sort of um, emotionally repressed mm -hmm. and and then the dichotomy of what people see me online and yeah, on the sports show is very different um you know and it, I, I, I you know i probably when i was younger could have afforded to have been a little bit more mysterious you know as an as, as a persona instead of like you know like cuz you know so many actors are so full of shit in terms of, and, and listen, you know, it's, it's, it's branding and all that stuff. But like, it's like when they present themselves on talk shows and stuff, I'm like, who the fuck is, can I yeah. just so curse, right? Oh, you can do it yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I say, who the fuck is this? You know, cause like, you know, these people yeah. like, who the fuck, like this is the way you, they take themselves so, but somewhere. we yeah. don't speak this way right. in real life. But you know, I mean, like I said, I probably could have afforded to, to do that a little bit more when I was younger, but you know, as, 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 uh, Wait, you know, do you regret stuff? Like, have you said things in the past? Or no, done no, 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 not, not regretting. Just, just, you know, I wanted to be like my goal as a young actor was to be a character actor. And then when I'm like, I could have, you know, I could have just chilled a little bit when I was in my twenties and, and, and in terms of like not being so rough around the, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, I like I I have a, 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 a I'm very lucky to have the career that I have. So, but when you look back, you know you 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 know as you see yourself age and shit, you know like twenty <laughs> twenty one, you're like damn, you know I was kind of good looking. I never thought that, <laughs> you know I never like yeah. I never looked at myself as like I never like when I was young, you don't pay attention to your looks, you know. But you could have like you know I'll sh I look at photos from like premieres and shit. I show up with sweatshirts and hoodies <laughs> on and shit. <laughs> You know, like, 
you know, when you could have like had a maybe like put a jacket and a suit on and shit, but I was like, fuck that, you know, fuck that. I'm, <laughs> you know, I was like on that fuck that shit. Yeah. I was really mm -hmm. on that fuck that shit. So, <laughs> so, you know, whatever. But I mean, like, I, I, but you I, did that because you were like, I'm not one of these pretentious actors in a way, right? Yeah, but I was in a way because I, I, I mean, I wasn't. Whatever. I, who the fuck knows? It, it's so long ago. <laughs> but like when it, like I see like, you know, clips of like, you know, you'll see these things pop up. There's a, um, there's this online thing. It's, I, it's called like opening night, and they'll show like uh, pr premiere photos from the '90s, from the '80s, from the '70s. It's kind of a cool website, and I'll be like, oh, what the fuck, you know, like. That night, oh, like, you know, and I just, my, I had a, like a real attitude. I had an attitude. Yeah. But I mean, that's who I, that also got me working as an For actor. For sure, so yeah. It's all good, you know, I mean, uh, and, uh, you know, it's just kind of like you're able to get perspective on who you are as you get a little older. What mm. is, because like, I've always wondered this for, for you, because you're, you, I mean, you seem like, you know, just such a real grounded dude. With your approach to acting, do you... You know, there's people who go like, well, you read the fucking page and you do what's on the page. And then there's, you know, the ext the other end of that is like, you know, really methodical, uh, trained acting where it's like, you know, whatever. It's like method or however you want. Do you like fall in between or do you? I think I fall somewhere in between. And I think I, 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 I approach acting and, and every character and, and really every scene and every show or every movie with what is necessary mm -hmm. to get to where that is. Now, um, you know, I could do uh, something that may be very simple for me with a, sp a specific part uh, uh, that would be uh, uh, challenging for somebody else. And there could be a specific tone that somebody else isn't comfortable with or, and that, that would be challenging for me that someone else is like, oh, I, I, I'm easy, that's comfortable. Yeah. So for me, it's like, it's on a, a, a kind of a, part to part, scene to scene, a uh, day to day basis, you know, um, but you know, like, you know, as far as a method and, and I, I, you have your own method. I mean, I, I, I one of the things, uh, um, about acting is like so much of it to me is your energy, like your energy, like, I mean, there's elite, elite, elite actors like, you know, the Christian Bales and the Denzels. You know, these are elite, mm -hmm. you know, guys that could do everything. And they, you know, have just a skill set as actors, like the checklist, like, you know, they could do, you know, uh, characters. You know, they got the looks, you know, great with accents, you know, Meryl Streep, you know. Uh, but like at the end of the day, your energy will come through, whether it's Christopher Walken's energy. You know, that's a very unique yeah. cadence. His energy is... You know, people say he's creepy, you know, or, or De Niro, like, you know, it, it's like as we get to see him a little like that's De Niro, like that's who he is. Like, you know, when you're in front of him, like that charisma, that birthmark, you know, mm -hmm. that's just fucking Robert De Niro. Yeah. Or, or, um, you know, and but for me, like I just approach each scene, each show the way it needs to be approached. And some days you have to sort of, you know, some days you could snap in and out of it. And some days you have to kind of stay in that rhythm and stay in that vibe. And yeah. And, and, and it's just kind of like a, like a, a, di a one di of different show. My favorite thing, like, you know, you've done, you've done so much movies and everything, but like, I feel like one, you've been in everything. Yeah, you've been I've been watching so you forever. Many, forever. I've, been, I've been lucky. I've been lucky. But the, one of the things that I was like, man, cause I, at that point I had seen you for a long time. The episode of Louie you did. That was fun. Dude. Oh my God. And here's the thing that I, I feel like had, I've, I more believe with every year more is that when a character is kind of dumb and you're like, this guy's so <laughs> fucking dumb mm -hmm. that I, I, and I, and it's believable. You feel like the person playing that part is smarter and you, you know what I mean? Like you have to be intelligent to pull off dumb. Well, yeah. Uh, to, to make it seem real and yeah. grounded. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. I agree. Like, I'm playing, dumb. Yeah. You know? I agree. And to make it genuine, to make it genuine. And, authentic. and that, that, yeah, that, I mean, that was, that was so great. And, you know, the writing was so fucking good. You know, it's crazy because of that, like, the Louis show has been like, I can't find that episode anywhere. Oh. Really? It's like scrubbed. Well, Louis, the Louis show is gone. You can't that find it. That shit's gone. And, and, and uh, but I mean, he, the writing was so good. And, you know, like, I think I got it on a Friday. And, and uh, you know, like, I had to be in New York on a Monday and it was freezing. I mean, mm. it was fucking freezing. And I had never met Louis before. And like we were out there, you know, he had like a, a ski mask and, you know, he was he was like, let's just do it. And I was like, let's just fucking start because it was fucking freezing. But he, he he's a really, really good director and a really good writer. 
And, uh, you know, and uh, it was a good opportunity. And like that, that was like a cathartic character for me. Like that, that emotion was very something like for me, like I was able to, you know, um, let loose a lot of emotions that I was having specifically at that time. Like mm -hmm. that, and I was, it, and I really uh, enjoyed doing it. You are a very passionate person. And oh I, I, you know what I do love like <laughs> hearing you talk about acting now and knowing you just very little that yeah. I know you in person, you are so real. And that comes through like you're, you seem pretty down to earth. You're an earth dog, right? Yeah. To quote Howard Stern, his earth dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're so passionate. You're, are you in touch with your feelings? Do they yes. take over? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, are they ever subtle? My, you got to ask my wife. <laughs> uh, but I mean, they're, they're, yeah, I mean, you know, like, I don't know, like it's, you know, I'm definitely, you know, I, I think the, the, the lighter shades, the, 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 the feelings, you know, as far as like the lighter shades, I could probably be more improved. With. So I'm very good at, very excited, very angry uh, I'm with the very sometimes like yes. the very soft. I am mean, you know, like I, I in, in that, you know, like the lighter shade, you know, like I look at when I look at acting, you know, we talk about the good, good uh, actors, you know, like the crayon boxes. You probably got your kids, you know, they got like the, 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 the 16 crayons, sure. the 32 crayons, the 164. Like for me, the goal is to have the 164 hmm. at your at your like those great them, great great actors you know they can make do the them whole accessible box. yeah so so that you know but in real life you know i i'm probably at a 32 64 wow, that's i'm definitely good. Not, yeah but there's <laughs> is, a big box where you i'm at really, a five is there, is there, <laughs> you're just, I'm, I'm the kind they give you at the restaurant for the kid to play with. is uh <laughs> fuck is your wife as intense as you no I mean, really? Is it like as a? Is, it's a good balance, though. It's a it balance. It's a good balance. Is a good she ever balance. like Mike? Dial it, fucking. Oh, she's all the fucking time. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's all the time. Of course. I mean, come yeah. on, man. I mean, no, I, I know. Can, yeah, I've, I've seen you. I'm like, she's got to be. No, give me the she's last time. Calm what, what, down. When did she tell you to calm down last? It's Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. during the game or like prior to the game? It was the fucking whole day, and <laughs> you know, it was the whole day, and you know, we were. You, I was, you know, I, I've been trying um, me a uh, plant-based diet for the oh, month. Oh shit, man! How's you that You know, going? because she's on that shit. Oh, that's the worst. So, and also, I got some health issues. So, I was like, let me try, you know, to see inflammation, <laughs> Jews. You know, are you Jewish? I'm not. I wish though. Jewish. No, but we got one. In there. Okay, we. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you got the quota. You got one Jew. Okay, yeah. cool. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. But he's uh, like really fucking right. Jewish. Super yeah. Jew. I yeah. heard the Hebrew. Yeah. But but <laughs> anyway. But like I was very excited about breaking in. I had these pastrami <laughs> chicken wings and oh. you know and and my wife's like you know she's got a lot of and it was just like she. But now her new thing to me is he's like because I make a lot of noises. Oh, like during the game? No. Oh, in life. <laughs> like I I like I make like you did a noise when we started. You were like. They, not oh. that's nothing. That's it's nothing. like the uh, like it's like a, yeah. I'm, I'm like a 96 year old dinosaur. Joe. Yeah, yeah. That's what's in me now. Right. So she's now because she's like, "Are you okay?" Like she literally like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "The fuck are you?" It's like, yeah, you yeah. I'm just making noise. She goes, "Yeah, but those are not normal noises." <laughs> but she, you know, she's I'm I'm one. For, I'm this is my second second marriage. I'm uh -huh. one for two. Okay, you guys won. This, this, is, this is one, but his next one will be a twenty. I'm gonna year get a yoga. fucking dumb 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 dumb. Yeah. I got you, and I'm gonna give her handbags. I got yeah. you, and just put things in her mouth, and just shut the and, fuck yep, up. Yep, I, yep, yep. <laughs> That's what we've yep. been saying. Wait, is that Can't what your wait. second wife is? Hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. She not. She no, 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 no. So what? You went the other way? No, she's. It's just a good balance because she's like. Like, you know what is a, in a simple context without boring the shit out of everybody? It's like, she's from the beach. She's from Santa Monica. I'm from oh, the city. Yeah. Right. So if it's really like water and like concrete, yeah. that's the balance. Yeah. Gotcha. And she just, you know, that's that that's in a nutshell without, you is know. She, is she like yoga and, and she's on, she said the she's veggie diet. She's not too much of that. Too much, too much but of that. Compared but compared to you. In a sense. Yes, but not fucking like way the fuck out. Like there. annoying. No, it. I mean you know she'll dip into shit. Like I, whatever. I don't want to like, but 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 it's just a good balance, you know. It's right. just a good balance, and uh, being the uh, marriage expert that I am, since I've had so much <laughs> success, yeah, I think that the balance is important. Like that you can't mm -hmm. have too, 
you can't have too much concrete. You can't have two Rappaports together. Like oh, that. my no. God. Two of you? Imagine? Oh, no. my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <You're> fucking overwhelming. <laughs> I'm still paying alimony. <laughs> the first one, right? was, your, was your first wife more Rappaport? I would say in hindsight, yes. Yeah. It, it more just. How it, long have you been with wife, your second wife? Well, we have a, an interesting thing because we dated uh, uh, when I was 21 to about 24. Oh, like which I think is it should be illegal. You shouldn't be able to be in a like a relationship when you're tw- you're so fucking it's stupid. So you're so dumb. True. You're so dumb. As a guy, I mean, I, I can't speak on the women, but I could tell you how dumb I was. Yeah. And 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 at that age, when like I know how dumb I am now. Yeah. And the fact that I I know that shows that I've gotten a little smarter. But when you're right. that young, you have no yeah. awareness. You like you can't see like six feet in front of you. Like you're dumb as fucking shit because yeah. you think you have it all figured out. Yeah. So I was dumb as fuck, uh, but then we re, we got back together like ten years ago, uh, uh, after blah 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 blah, and and you know and um um it's a good it's a good relationship it's a good marriage and 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 I think it's 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 an ever growing improving vessel which I like. Oh, I'm talking some real. I love it. How shit. long wait, how long have you been married? The second time we've been married now only three years, but we've been together for ten years. Okay, so it's 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 good. It's good. Nice. Oh, this just hit me right now. Didn't. Did you make the tribe documentary? Yes. Yeah, because I'm a big tribe fan. Yeah, and that's right. Like, I, I, that was that was great. And like, you know, I mean, you know, if you're if you were, grew up a fan and um, to see, I mean, obviously there's obviously very sad parts of it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just to get some type of story, some closure, some information. Yeah. You know, because most like big music acts, you just when you have questions, they just stay unanswered. Yeah, yeah. You don't get the access to yep. it. Yep. Um, but you got that's why I wanted to make the movie yeah because I, I had the like my whole impotence to make the movie is will you guys uh, make another record yeah that's like a theme in the movie but like that's what spawned it and I just love Tribe and you know and, and Tribe Called Quest and, and, and hip hop and you know that music is like I'm, I'm I have no vested interest other than uh, being a fan of it but I'm it, it means so much to me and it is, it's you know the music of my youth and it's informed who I am, who, how I speak, hip hop, and and being around it and being around it in New York at that time when it was unfolding, like Tribe and all those, you know, golden era groups and you know, uh, Dayla and, and Eric B and Rakim and just you're just talking whole, about this is my husband's collection right yeah, here. Yeah, you guys the, are music course, soulmates. Yeah. But that's part. Of, that's one of the reasons I was drawn to you, even as an actor, was because I knew that about you. I'm saying even years ago. Yeah. And then I felt like you know you feel like. Uh, a kinship with yeah. someone who you, yeah. know, who you know who has the same music interests. Yeah, you. I love, I love all that shit. Is it just is it's it's. I mean, it's part of my everyday yeah. life. There's not a day that goes by that it's not either listened to, thought about. You know, whether I'm walking my dog and you know fake beatboxing, like without you know, just it's just part of my fucking yeah. life. Did you hear that le- the new uh, Gangstar album? Yeah, it was good. It was good. I, I like, like it. But the fascinating thing was the way. The way that that came together, where he had to buy those back Crazy. from Solo. Oh, and then you he, told me about And then that. he didn't just go like, I'll put this beat to this song. Yeah. He made beats for the yeah. lyrics. He, he basically created songs from the lyrics. It, it, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. It is. Premier's and, and, amazing. And it sounds like a, 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 a gangstar record. It does. It doesn't sound You would dated. not know like, oh, that's... I know. It's dope. And, and, and you know... Making it under such, um, you know, turbulence and the tribulations of, uh, you know, someone passing, just like the, the last tribe movie, uh, record when right, they did after Fife passing. Yeah, and they have, you know, and they have ly- verses from him. Yeah, and, and you can what, feel the emotion in both those records because yeah. of that. So, yeah, it was dope. I, I like that record. It's very, yeah, impressive too. Like, he's really impressive. He, he's amazing talent. And those producers, like, for me, like, that's the biggest thing that I complain about with hip hop now. It's, you know, there's, there's some good producers now, but like the production. Like Premier and Tip and all those dudes and you know a Large Professor and Pete Rock, like it was life and death. Every beat you put out, if you put out some bullshit, you could be like you're done. Yeah. So you know, and the like you know the first image of the Dr. Dre movie, uh, the, the I'm sorry, the N.W.A. movie is of Dr. Dre laying in all the records. In all the records, yeah. You know, he was in love with the records before. But hip-hop. part of that has to be the fact. That these all those guys you named grew up with rec, with vinyl, right? So they they really were digging through crates. Yeah, they really were finding loops and yeah. being like this. And even just I'm saying from a practical logistical standpoint, 
uh, a kid now just wouldn't do that. He's yeah, not, he's, it's different. You know, he's not going to dig through the record mm, stores yeah. and being like, listen to these and being like, oh, break beats and figure out like yep. this hook would work. And it's just, it wouldn't even, you would have to really extend That's yourself. That's so true. The technology has just made prohibited it made it yeah. that kind of discovery. But those guys, like Jay Dilla and all those, those guys were uh, just obsessed with- They loved the, the shit. They, and they yeah. would be like, what'd you do this week? I, I bought 800 records- and I, you know, went through, <laughs> played all of them, just and to find the just thing. to find this thing, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. that yeah. became, you know, the 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 beat on on a Nas song is because that guy was so like digging through crates for years and found this one thing that nobody ever paid attention to could yeah. be a beat that yeah. just doesn't happen now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And that's why those mm -hmm. guys, even the those guys that are like they're in their fifties now, they're still great at it. So still, good at it. Yeah. Yeah. So good at it. Crazy. Yeah. All loaves matter, man. <laughs> I don't even know that. What's that reference? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Mm. All right. Oh. Yes, go um, ahead. Speaking what of Jews. What do we have for you? Yes. So tell, tell everybody uh, caught wind of Ari Shafir. Yup. And um, he's one of yours. So <laughs> fucking. <laughs> we all know him. Um, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, it's only a week. It's only a week. Yeah, um, I don't know. Do you do you uh, you have anything? You know that situation. Point? I don't know Ari Shafir. I don't know his comedy. Yeah. Um, I've never like uh, had any interactions with him. You know, I uh, um, the Kobe. I'll talk about the Kobe situation. Obviously, it was devastating. It was shocking. Um, you know, it was. You know, it was so upsetting and and uh that day that sunday uh uh as i was and as the rest of the world was piecing together you know what happened and praying and hoping that it wasn't even real like you're only almost in you know like you're everybody's in their own sort of personal nightmare like yo i had this yeah. fucking crazy dream that da 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 da, -da happened you know because it was so just upsetting you know whether you are a basketball fan a sports fan or not, like he represents a time in our life. You know, everybody for the last 20 years have he has heard that name, what, even if you're not even in the NBA, into the NBA. So when that happened and then you start hearing like, you know, uh, uh, that, you know, there's other people and that, you know, his daughter was on, you know, you're just like. It's devastating. Devastating. And you're like, what's real? What's not real? What's real? What's not real? Can this please not be real? And then I was, you know, just going through Twitter and social media to see, see, you know, find out more information and watching the news. And I saw somebody um, had retweeted. It said something about his video. And I, I turned the video on. And I'll be honest, I haven't even watched the whole video. When I got to the part, what, what he was saying. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and it was so, I'm not, I, I'm a shit talker myself. And, and I'm not like, you know, like... Um, I believe, you know, comedians, you could do what you want. The ramifications right. are the, what, the ramifications. Yeah. If you go on stage and you, you, you're do, doing fucked up jokes, I don't judge you. But the nastiness in that video hours after this, after it, and it was, it, there was nothing funny about it. There was no intent to be funny. I was disgusted by the shit. And I, I'm not, uh, uh, I have, I have thick skin. I, I, um, I don't give a fuck about what people say. And I've stuck up for, other comedians publicly when other comedians don't stick up for them with the Shane Gillis thing who I just met, but I, you know, like I've put, put my, my mouth on wax, my yeah. tweets on wax in support of, of, of him and thought that was fucked up. And, and, you know, and, you know, in different versions of uh, uh, Louis CK and my opinion on that and a bunch of other motherfuckers don't say jack shit. And, and Shane Gillis's friends didn't say shit for Shane Gillis and other comedians were attacking him. But this was not a joke. This was not a, a, an inappropriate joke. It wasn't an inappropriate tweet. You decided hours, two hours after this was broken, to put a camera in front of your face with such nastiness and, and disrespect towards this person, the, the unsolved mystery of who was in there, and say this. And I was just a, disgusted by the shit. And, and I don't consider myself... Uh, um, Fair, you know, like lighten the, you know, 
I don't consider myself. You're not soft and like about easily that offended. Shit. Yeah. But I, I was like, nah. And and I retweeted it and I put it on my social media. And if anything, he should have he should send my wife some flowers uh, because she said take it off your main Instagram page. He should he should send my wife a bouquet of flowers and some chocolates and maybe a, and maybe a fucking handbag because if it had been on my main Instagram page it would have been worse quick. I don't give a fuck about Ari Shafir. Um, I don't give a fuck about the ramifications of him getting his shit his shows taken. I don't want anything to happen happen to him. But you say some shit like that, you have to deal with the consequences. You have freedom of speech, and other people have freedom of uh, the response that they're gonna have. It was it was disgusting. Yeah. So. Um, you know, uh, that's how I felt about it. That's how I do feel about it. And any other comedians that have a problem with it, they should fucking put a camera on in front of their face and say what they want to say. Um, because, uh, you know, the, the majority of the comedians that I've seen have been like, have said the same thing. And, and, you know, I know there's a lot of clicks and comedy and all that stuff. And I found out more about him. And I even like about the, uh, Burt Kreischer thing. And yeah. Where he drugged him. people. Yeah. That shit's yeah. not funny. No. You're not funny. Mm. And then he said, you know, well, this is what I do. Well, obviously enough people didn't know that that's what you do because people don't know you, but they know you now for this shit. And if you think it was misinterpreted, go down to Staples Center where there's a bunch of people still mourning, go in front of those murals and do the bit again in front of the, do, do, do the same thing in front of the, the murals of Kobe, go to the Staples Center and do it. And maybe you'll see if it gets a, 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 a different response. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Go, go to Staples yeah. and, and, do that routine down there. I agree. Uh, um, um, because it's it's one thing to do it at the stand in front of your, your fans, and another thing to do it, you know, at, at the comedy store in front of your fans. If you think you were misinterpreted, yeah, go to fucking Staples and do it outside well, of Staples Center and you. see how people respond to you then. So that that's my take on it, and I'm not moving off on it. I believe. And like I said, he should send my wife. Uh, 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 some flowers and some chocolate because if I had kept it on my main Instagram page, it would have been worse. I mm. fully endorse Ari having to send your wife flowers and chocolate. Not only that, I would like to hire the camera crew to follow him down to Staples Center. To do <laughs> the routine. <laughs> to do the routine. Maybe I, I was wrong. Love to see it. May maybe all the other comedians that spoke out and maybe all the other people that are you know, saying, maybe they were all wrong. Maybe, maybe when you do it live in yeah. front of those people... It'll get a different response. No, I, I, I know, I've known him a long time, and I thought I I had a, uh, a a similar reaction where I was like, "The fuck is wrong with you, man?" And I think he didn't. I really do think that he really didn't did not register uh, for a while the the way it came for a while. Like a couple of days in, he was like, "What's like?" He's like, "Oh, people are upset." I'm like, "You don't understand." Just like, to be clear, d what did Ari say so that people listening, if they oh, have, oh, if they if had it, play it, play it on the thing. I didn't oh. listen to the whole thing. It was fucking disgusting. Let's find it. Well, and, and also, and, and you gotta understand, it was, it was, the the the. the it was during the day. I know it was during the daytime. Like yeah. it was. It was that day. All the information was wasn't even out yet. Right. Mm. And it was just which which it, nasty for him was. Oh boy, here we go. Well, in, yeah. I don't yeah. want to hear the whole shit. We yeah. Can play it. Play it for. Play it for. On no, the, no, no, no. I think this is an edited video. Let me try and find the original. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, basically, so Ari does this thing every time, like for years now. Yeah. Whenever a public figure dies, um, he tweets a tweet about like. In other words, like celebrating their death, you know, like L Luke Perry <laughs> died. Like he, he writes these dark um, death tweets about famous people dying. Yeah, it's so a shtick. Like, it's, 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 it's a thing. It's a and stick. if the person is not as beloved, it can kind of go yeah, over. Well, but then people in L.A. was just the whole city was devastated. Oh, it was devastated. And, and he was like, the been. thing is he happened to be in Charlotte when this went down. Charlotte drafted him. Original Kobe, Kobe, and so he was he was in front of Charlotte's oh, um, dear. arena. It was look, man. It was all in line with like what he does, but it was the worst possible take, the worst possible moment, done in the worst possible way, and received exceptionally poorly. I mean, people really, really lit him up. They went after his uh, man, his reps. They yeah. went after the venues he was going to perform at. People, they canceled the shows. Yeah. Reps dropped them. It went like sideways. It's a severe, sideways. this is a severe yeah. blow. And I, oh, yeah. I honestly, I haven't, I've only heard about it secondhand because I didn't even want to watch it. Yeah. Because I'm so you upset about Kobe. I mean, but we, I want to, let's hear. I haven't oh. heard it. So I'd like to see exactly it's, what we're talking about. Okay. And remember, this is, this is, 
during the day it was like the, the like sunday the it day. was no it was it was we sunday. were you weren't even right. sure who else was you remember i flew back from new zealand yeah it was sunday the day but i'm asking you this is sunday that, that's what i'm saying it's happened. that day. It day hours yeah yeah like within yeah. the hour that yeah. it happened you know there's always a lot of like hate pain in the world and there's always a bunch of terrible stories and every once in a while there's a good story a good story comes out a guy who got away with rape got his today Kobe Bryant is a god. I'm here in Charlotte, the home of the team that originally drafted him. Uh, maybe he wouldn't have raped that chicken Denver if he had been if he had stayed in Charlotte with the Hornets. But anyway, the point is, dude, it's like as I know, there's always a lot of like hate, pain in oh, the world. Oh, it didn't even finish. It just looped to the beginning again. Yeah. Okay. Well, you get the gist of it, and it basically. Right. But he what, was not. He wasn't he acquitted of those charges. Yeah. There wasn't even a. Yeah, 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 the charges like were dropped. Silly, okay. but but the whole point is that when he did he did the tweet, so there's the written word of like, oh, he got you know he's dead and blah blah, blah. That, and, and he posted the video. So what people would do is they would on social media they would post. They're like, look what this guy wrote, and look at he he went to the extent the of video posted, fucked him up. The video fucked the him video up. The video fucked him up. A tweet you can. You know, people, and then he didn't. Then he didn't apologize when it was when it was coming out, and he's explaining it like, "Yo," he explained it what a couple days later. But he's saying this is what I do, and I'm like, "You're not that dude. No one knows who you are. Like right. your little people that fuck with you, they fuck with you. But the rest of the world, the majority of people don't know that's right. what you do. It's so. uh, it's that one. Yeah, yeah. Every time a celebrity dies, I post horrible shit. I've been doing it. Who for cares? Years. Yeah, yeah. This is his. Well, he's explained. And if you if you page to the right on the little arrow there, yeah. All right, so he's like, I've never heard. I was bummed. They're all jokes. He's, ba he's basically explaining w what it is. And then he basically said, when I posted that thing, I didn't know all the details and uh, that there were, you know, kids and stuff. It's still like a, a troll thing to do. Yeah, um, I, I, I wasn't with it. But I didn't know about the, the Burt Kreischer thing. Oh, the yeah. Bert thing? Yeah, he drugged him. He dosed he our friend, Bert. Yeah. He could have killed him. Yeah, he could have. Because he was on uh, blood pressure medication at the same time, and his kids were there at the house, and he, like, dosed him with the wife and the kids. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean... It's crazy. I don't know. I don't want anything, anybody to do anything to Ari. Me but, neither. But it would be funny if he died. <laughs> <laughs> like naturally i'm saying like hit by a bus yeah. or a subway yeah. or something the irony. <laughs> you know i i'm not saying for See, that's you that's a funny joke to, <laughs> that's yeah. a joke yeah Unreal. so all right let's switch it up um you're oh were you throwing your cans for one second i want to uh, uh oh. those right there i just wanted to i just feel like you can or can you hear are they coming through yeah you can you're good at like i don't know just picking up on things quick so tell me what you think happened just before this video plays right here okay <laughs> That's all we know. <laughs> Man, that's it? Man, yeah, shit. I've got some theories. What is your theory? <laughs> the dog has a theory. dog's got a theory. I think somebody peed on the floor. You think he peed on the floor? Look at all that liquid down there. Yeah. What's all with wetness about? And the thing is about it is that it's a horrific scream, but everybody's laughing. You know, the, the group, uh, the, all the people that oh, are laughing. Oh, his bros are everyone's laughing. Everyone's laughing. It, that's interesting. So it seems like it's not as severe as the screen. oh that's interesting and they're all they're all recording it so it's yeah, kind of a they're having fun with it okay you know? what do, yeah. you do we know what happened own? no that's oh, oh we're really we're trying really really to like connect yeah. the dots yeah <laughs> shit i don't know i mean i i don't think th i think i don't i i thought that about maybe throw up or but i don't doesn't seem like enough pee mm. but, right. but there is a little trail of it so you see like at the top there is a trail of it yeah whatever he, he's being dragged on his front and his front is dragging that liquid we need to mm. did you guys see the the documentary uh don't fuck with cats no i haven't been able to watch it because the trailer fucking spooked me here's the thing i can watch you got like, home it. videos of somebody chopping a person up oh but my as soon God. as they're like they heard a cat i'm like i don't know if i can watch this it's <laughs> what is it even about because i'm too busy watching atypical right yeah, now. yeah and you I'm got kids i get two. it i get it it's it's about these it's about these online people regular folks who are so great 
as a documentary subjects. They just happen to be like you would think. I, it was so well done. I was like, is this shit fake and are they actors? Because I was like, this is too fucking out there. <laughs> but it's about this these online people, regular people who get wind of this video of this guy tor torturing cats, right? They don't show much of the torturing video. And they, they get obsessed with tracking this fucking guy down. And then it happens again. Then it happens again. And they're like, life becomes, we got to find this fucking guy. And it gets worse, <laughs> worse, worse. And way crazier things happen. Um, but the plot twists and the twists and turns and their obsession they would get this. They could fucking figure this out easy. <laughs> the, the, the don't fuck with cats crew. Uh, they could get this in a, in a, in a matter of like like I, I, I give them an hour. Do you think this is real? We throw them on one more time. Yes. Sorry, I got a couple no, more go to ahead. show you. This. Do you think that this lady is acting or this is real? What do you think about Hitler? Um, I don't know who that is or no, what she's he straight does. up. I'm assuming that's some kind of rapper. I saw this. You yeah. Did? Really? Yeah. She really doesn't know. Well, no, I mean, she was right. He is a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah, I saw this. You know, she really doesn't know. That's a dumb fuck. That's a, that's a dumb motherfucker right there. She's dumb as that's fuck. That's right. That's but that, that is real. I saw that. That's just a dumb motherfucker. You think she's that Hilarious. dumb? Dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be, I mean, you know, it would be dope if it was like little, you know, they got like little this, little yeah, that. Little Hitler. Little, little Hitler. Hitler. Yeah. He got like tattoos on his face and shit. <laughs> he got the little yeah. mustache tat. Woo. Oh, I man. love that. I like your opinions. Very strong. Yeah. <laughs> May I Thank digress you. for one moment? Yeah. Uh, you and I are huge Stern fans. Yes. Uh, you're not a fan of Brent Hadley and his swinging with his wife. It's not that Caitlin. I'm not a fan of it. What's going on? It's... It's, um, I just, I felt at a certain point, that whole thing with Brent on the Stern Show started because at a certain point I was like, it's too much of it on the show. It's too graphic. I listen to the Stern Show in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't want to start my day listening to this vulgarity. And I'm, I consider myself a vulgar person, but like it's, 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 it's getting too much. It's too redundant and it needs to be shortened. So I had called in. Uh, make it stop. Make what? it fucking stop. And 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 then it can you know that he, he didn't want to hear that the constructive criticism because that's what it was. So it was, you felt that Brent was oversharing in the details that he was giving and the, the wife and the wife was and I know it's like oh well you can't talk about the wife well the wife's on the show she's now right. a character on the show so and, and and then it was like I was being critical of his wife I'm like she's on she's putting it out there too so uh, uh, then when it all backfired when his trip to Los Angeles. I was excited about that. Gotcha. And when the jackhammer came in and he jackhammered his wife yeah. in front of his dog yeah. in his own bed, I'm like, this is you what happy. you get. Yeah. You fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, See, I, you know what? But I, I love the show yeah, and it's not so personal. It's right. not personal. He he took it. I think he took it personal. Like, I'm just like, as a listener, a paying customer. Interesting. The customer is always fucking right. Interesting. Christina. Yes. That's what they say. Yeah. No, I've heard this the customer, phrase. Yes. I'm paying for series. That's a, yeah. it's not, it ain't no 399 shit. And you didn't want to hear it in the morning and you felt it was too graphic. It's too much. You didn't want to hear him talking about eating pussy and, and going to the, the swinger club with the all big ZD and, and, and all and that. He, like the, 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 he, he does give a good depiction of the swinger club because it's it was like, amazing. it sounds just oh, not oh. good, not fun. You could smell it when yeah. he's talking about and it. That, and why does that bother you? What, what do you think is going on? Are you in therapy ever? Do you go to therapy? Nah, I, no, I was in therapy. I'm not in therapy currently. But do you, are you weirded out? Is it sex? Does that weird you out? Like no, about? no, no, no. Sex no. doesn't weird me out. His sex with his sex, and why is it because he's married? And no, it, no, no. You? It's not even that. It, it it just was. It just became too much. It was too it much. It was too much. Too gross. And like <laughs> like the idea of like his breath and and yeah. and the swingers club and the bad music and the you know the the, the it just all of it. I was just like I loved enough. It. I so loved I had it. to I had to put a stop to it. Yeah. And inevitably, I feel like. I won. You did. Uh, because I feel yeah. like now he's not, he, you know, he's not swinging and they're not talking about the swinging. <laughs> it took a little bit longer than I uh, thought it would. Um, but I feel like inevitably I won. You did. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, that's that's good. what we Can, met, we bonded over. That's that. right. See, this is but this is why I, I I love you is your passion for things that are just so silly like that. Like I because li- my husband knows that I'm a huge fan of the show. Oh my god! And I get very passionate too, and I'm very involved in these people's lives. So I just love it that you're 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 fired up about shit. It's I good mean, to be fired all up. Day. And if I'm gonna involve myself with the Stern Show, I don't want to be. <laughs> Um, I'm not a super fan. I love it. I'm going. I want to be in the f- in the fray. You, yeah, I know. That's why you're so, it's so great. Like you got in there. Like man. I'm not gonna be like, oh, Bowie, I'm a fan. No, I wanna I wanna rip those you're big fucking it. teeth out of your mouth, I uh, Baba Bowie. I wanna <laughs> pluck those fucking giant fucking horns. Like I'm not like, oh, I said no. You're in there. I want to be in there. I know. Like and if man. they say, oh, you're close to whack pack. Well, then so fucking be it. So fucking be it. I could. F- I'll work it out. I'm walking it. around my house. I and love like, it so I'll much. I'll just be like. I'll hear something. I'm like, what is that? And then I walk <laughs> to another part of, and I and I hear her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? And yeah. she's like, I'm right now. <laughs> he hates my joy. He no. hates it when I'm happy. You're about stuff. Like, you, you hide. You hide in like rooms. I do. And listen. and listen to the kids. <laughs> you listen to me. it at your house. Yeah, on my phone all the time. I'll put it. I'll tuck it in my bra as uh, I'm like uh-huh, cooking dinner, uh-huh. just so I can hear it in uh-huh. her shot. And just for you. I got fuck, you. I love it. I fuck she's getting it. ready, to doing makeup before oh, she goes. I love it. I love it. I love it too. I'm a, I, I'm a fan. Uh, of it. I know. I, it. I know you. It are. gives me entertainment, and I love when you call in and get all fired up. It's just great. I love it's it. So I, 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 it makes me. It makes yeah. me giggle. Yeah, it's good. I love Do you it. Still and I love East Coast stuff. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um. Uh. I, the I am Rappaport Stereo Pockets. We're on Luminary. We're behind a paywall. Oh, you're behind oh. a paywall. Yeah. Luminary. Uh. Two ninety nine a month. Okay. And I, I I love doing the podcast. I mean, talk about freedom of speech and yeah, sort of an unfiltered you know, point of view, uh, uh, whether it's good, bad, and different, you know, are, are articulating a, 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 an emotion. You know, the Kobe one was very hard to do. Um, and just, you know, being able to articulate that. and Or if it's, you know, fucking Trump shit or, you know, the New York Knicks or, you know, I have a segment that it's an award-winning segment um, <laughs> called "The Sick Fuck of the Week," oh. uh, which is a great. This woman here, uh, the the what did she? I think I actually, I, I I'm pretty you sure I her? mentioned her. She might really? not have made it to the sick fuck of the week, but it, maybe I think I called it the dumb fuck of the week. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, but the sick fuck of the week is like you, people that you know. It's a lot of times people that you know, it, it, like I'd say it's 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 a, a big category is of teachers that fuck. Their students, yes. men or women, I don't support it. They should all be locked the fuck up. Yes. Um. And, or people that like there was a, a gentleman uh, last night in um in some uh, some small town in Texas that uh, uh was uh, fond of having his way with uh, cows. Oh my Whoa. god! So that's a sick fuck that's of the week. That's a sick fuck of the week. Fuck. We have right. lots of sick people on you our are, show too. Yeah, yeah. it's we kind have of a the whole... lot of sick people. <laughs> yeah, you go through them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that you can't miss them, and it's like yeah. at a certain point, like I have to, I call like I had to clear the docket because I had gotten inundated with so many sick fucks yeah so actually yesterday's podcast which just came out today was just it was just like i had to clean clean the clean dock because i'm the judge and jury do you want to watch some sick fucks i mean i have no i mean it's, it, I, it you, is it graphic stuff i don't know let's, you're let's like you won't watch don't fuck with cats and you're gonna put on something <laughs> let's see what he had let's see what we okay, have let's Gra- see. grab your headphones grab okay, your headphones because otherwise you can't hear um this this i haven't even seen okay okay this, this right here i haven't seen. shit so i don't know what this is okay she shat herself oh. you animal you uh, fucking animal but she was trying to do a sexy fart video that's what i gathered from you that. think it's a sexy pump? that's what she thought it was she definitely she thought that was shat sexy. herself she shat herself yeah. yes how many times have you done that wait well, wait 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 there's more coming there's more coming, there's more coming. Well, there's more Christina? Co- yeah do you shit yourself a lot no well not recently um but i will you're on that all green fucking diet no man. no 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 <laughs> i the, i have ulcerative <laughs> colitis <gasps> Oh. And and I've actually been in in fantastic shape, but I am uh, very open about the fact that when my ulcerative colitis isn't right, uh, Runyon Canyon, the 101 or the 405 <laughs> becomes my personal bathroom. You'll shit anywhere, if if yes, if need be, because uh, but what? it's not for sport. Right. It's not I'm not one of these people. You're not who's doing like, it to be a pig. I'm not doing it to harass. Yeah. Or, you know, there's people like they're serial shitters, like they'll go around and like they, and then they'll catch them. That's not me. And trust me, um, when I had ulcerative colitis, when I first got diagnosed in 1987, their surveillance, the surveillance world wasn't what is yeah. what it is now. Oh, yeah. But rest assured, rest <laughs> assured. And I do have a three, a, a, a three wall technique. <laughs> Yeah. I How do you do this? This is what I'm wondering. How do you shit on the freeway? Okay. Well, the freeway's easy. 
What? The freeway's easy. What? Freeway's what? nothing because you have your car, you have the, the bush, uh, and you have doors on your... Like, it's, You've and, done that? Oh. He's just said the 101 and the 405. That's saying. my personal... That's my personal... Like, you know how they opened up Starbucks bathrooms? Like, that's been... So like, wait, you just throw <laughs> the hazards on? Yeah, the freeway's easy. It's not like I'm in the middle. I go pull over. I'm not like a fucking... In yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, okay, the, you're pulling over. You turn on your not, hazards. Not being, I just want to preface again. I'm not into <laughs> shit jokes. Yeah. And oh. and I am telling you, I am <laughs> okay. But I'm just letting you know because I'm yeah. not the the like uh, I I have ulcerative colitis. So yes. I'm, again, yeah. I'm not doing it for sport. Right. But if necessary. push comes to yeah. shove, and I have to make a choice, am I going to shit myself in my car or shit on the 405, or am I going to continue my hike at Runyon Canyon, or am I going to shit in a bush at Runyon Canyon, and and I'm going to make the choice for 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 the second. Can you imagine people are like, is that Michael Rappaport? That's my biggest fear. That's my biggest fear. Canyon? Is that yeah. fucking Michael? No. Th that's my big. It can't you, be. You've but done. You you've done the Runyon on the one or no? Oh yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But let's Within, let's go through it. So you're the on the freeway. You pull over. I mean, that's easy because you got your. The, it's a three. It's a three prong uh, okay. technique. So I have the front door. Right. You open the car door. Two doors. Right. And then you have your. your, your, your so the, the only way you could be seen, if by chance you're being seen, is by in front of you. Okay, the freeway, there's not an overhead right. cameras. The, the car door here, the car door here, because you open the back door and the front door, right. you create like a little vestibule. Right, facing, obviously not traffic. Face, right, there, boom. <laughs> the, and it's, it's, so, it's so quick. Fast. Like my technique is so boom, boom. Yeah, and you don't, you don't wipe, though, or do yes, you wipe? Yes, of course I do. With what? It's my car. My, my car is like a Rite Aid. But what are you going <laughs> to... I, I got like a... It's like a Rite Aid in there. Like, I, I mean, it's not... Like, wiping is the least of it. I mean, the... I mean, you could do you could do surgeries in there. I got so band aids. I got all. Why kinds do you have of, all this shit in your car? I just like I just that's just how I am. You're, are you very uh, anxious, anxiety? Are you no? But I about like you know I keep like my nail clipper, my nail filer. Oh my uh, gosh! Yeah, I mean like I got you know, and also it was from kids. I got the band aids yeah, yeah. when okay. they were little. Uh, but okay. like you know, man, I'm 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 a clean person. You're a clean guy. So so you take the wipes with you or the toilet paper? Boom boom, yeah, boom boom. But it's and then it's, you shit and then you go back in the car. What's the most proud you've been of yourself for pulling off a public shit? Like where you're good like, question, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good question, and, and and it's a well thought out question, and it's a question I'm gonna just let me have a moment to think about that. Yeah, because sure. we're talking about you know 30 years of of this. Yeah. I would probably say like the 101, the 405, a Runyon Canyon. That's nothing to you me. Like I would say one. T I'll, I'll tell you one time. <laughs> this is what we. Have. This is what we're. One time. Yeah. This, I'm on. I'm on this pins and needles. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forget the acting school. This is <laughs> Central Park. Beautiful, beautiful spring day, broad daylight. <laughs> and I will say, I will say that as I was as I was raising up. <laughs> and it's a, it's like a dog it's like a squat boom boom yeah. and this is not like oh you're i, I don't mean to be graphic because i don't like shit jokes yeah yeah but no, we, the, we I, this it. is not like i'm struggling <laughs> to this it's like yeah. a pull your pants down boom boom yeah. I, right. I don't mean to be offensive like soft here. serve yeah. or soft serve yeah man of what you, course it's an emergency yeah, this is yeah it's, it's an emergency, emergency. <laughs> you know wuhan in there he doesn't he goes he shits once a month once a month once a month i'm serious that's He's disgusting. It's disgusting yeah. and it's wrong and he needs help. Yeah, you need you need go. And he, but the doctor, guy, yeah. but Dr. Drew says it's about. okay. So no, that ain't okay. Just no, Dr. Believe me. fucking crazy. No, that's not okay. It's not okay. It's, it's not, not okay. okay. Wait, but, where, but where are you Park shitting in broad daylight? Where? Behind some bushes. But I was <laughs> facing Fifth Avenue. But when I was on the way up, somebody made eye contact <gasps> with me. And I was, and it was the kind of eye contact like, is is that? But I was done. But it was like, I could tell they were like, what? Why is he over? Like, maybe he thought I was taking a piss. Mm. But that, I mean, you know, uh, flower flower pots in, in New York City, broad daylight. This is in the 90s. What? Um, but I mean, I was, yeah, I mean, not, this nothing. Not, not, not a fucking You think thing. they were like, let's make a pot for it. I've never, and I, and, I, and I don't want you to jinx me. Yeah. Okay? I don't want yeah. you fucking up my streak. I'm like Cal Ripken. Yeah. You just I'm keep. like fucking Cal Ripken yeah. of this. I, and I don't want you to jinx me. And again... I don't, I take pride in my discretion, okay? Yeah. And I, but I am not a serial, I'm not doing it for sport. Right. No, you, it's a medical condition. Now, where in Runyon Canyon are you browning? Oh, plenty of spots. What? Yeah. Where, how? Plenty. Where? The bottom, what? I got a spot at the bottom. Does, <laughs> does doing the exercise kind of trigger it sometimes? You know what I mean? Like no, the, it's usually, it, not, not really. Like, 
And again, it's not like I'm like, I, I'm responsible. Like I don't leave the house. It, because I have ulcerative colitis, things do happen. But I, my, my body and the ulcerative colitis, and shout out to anybody that has Crohn's ulcerative colitis. What up? Um, uh, you know, the, they will say that, you know, they understand it. But like, if it happens, it happens. And, and if it happens, like, you know, like I can make jokes about this woman here. She's in the, in the comfort of her own home, so I don't really have compassion about for that. Yeah, that shouldn't happen in your own house, <laughs> right? But you you, sound, you, you have know, contempt for her. You've had far. <laughs> yeah, you're I really, very yeah. upset yeah. for her. Yes. Why, why so angry? I judge with her. her. Yeah. yeah, I judge yes. her because she's not on her p's and q's. Right yeah. <laughs> now, do you fart willy nilly? Are you very afraid of your farts? Does the do you shit in front of your wife? I mean, are you, do, oh, is she yeah. aware? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she's she. You know, when we were first together, she saw horrible things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she was around. I mean, but like as a woman, you know, like your you, your husband, you're not going to shame him. But like you know, that's when I had very, 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 very active colitis in the '90s. Mm. You know, very, very active. Was were foods causing that? You know what? To be honest with you, I, I think that foods um, accentuate it. Mm. And I think, you know, like I'm not a drinker. Alcohol is very bad. Um, citrusy things. But I believe and, you know, like I said, I've had it since 1987, 1986. I was diagnosed with it. 86 or 87. Um, I believe this is just my take on it. And even my doctor now, he, he agrees with me that it is caused by stress. But when when um, it happens, medicine and foods need to, you. Ha there's no there's no way to go about what I had without medicine. There's yeah. No way. There's no um, uh, homeopathic, right. any of that no. shit. I tried all that. The shit, it's, but, like, it's like an open wound inside. It's like, it, you know, you're, it's a, like a terrible, terrible ulcer situation. Mm. I don't mean to be too graphic. No, no, but you're not. Believe never, me. But let not me ask you this. Show. Let me paint a picture. You're you're in bed. Yeah. It's uh. Have it's, I? You're, you want to say, do, have I shat the bed, Tom? No, well, I, I, we'll <laughs> Is that get, what you want to ask? I, I, I want to get to- Because your questions are- very insightful. <laughs> I just want to know. I appreciate that. Of course, I want to know. If My it's wife like, is going to leave me after it's this. It's Saturday morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Yes. You're laying in bed. Yes. You're both kind of like ah. You're waking up. Yes. And she's like, hey. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. A little music's wafting just, in the background. Know, you're doing your stretch, <laughs> and then you feel, oh, I got like a just a, a your standard Saturday morning fart in the chamber. <laughs> Do you trust it? At this it. point, I do. You know wow. when it's wet. At this, at this point, I do because the ulcerative colitis is, it's not fully in remission, but I could, I could fart with pride. Okay. <laughs> and, cool. and sometimes my wife will be like, did you fart? And I'm like, yo, you don't have to add. Like, she'll go, you did fart. And I go, it's the dog. Because I take pride in being able to make a fart that doesn't, uh, uh, you know, end up with me shitting myself yeah right how dare you ask me right that? so like, so that's why you see this woman I sh like this is shame bullshit. on her yeah shame on her. like and I, I and i public shame her yeah and i don't have compassion you're fart shaming her. yeah i'm fart you shat your pants lady <laughs> and you're looking surprised in the camera you the look i don't like oh the look was yeah she yeah was the stunned. look you ever of taking a dick pill have a what you ever taken a dick pill oh i think you said if you ever taken a dick pill i was like what <laughs> i haven't taken a dick pill ever never taken a dick pill would you ever try it for what? Like well, I'm all <laughs> fucked out. Like yeah. I think at a certain age, like you're all fucked out. I love just, this. Yeah. What age do men get fucked out? It, it's like you know, like when you're young in your twenties, it's like you want to, like you know, you want to, like you know, you want to kill the pussy, yeah. right? And I'm like, and I don't know if girls at that age, the communication isn't like maybe she doesn't know what you're like. You, you know, it's like you want to impress, right? Uh, who's got time and energy? Like I, yeah. it's like let's just get this. Let's get it popping and 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 let's continue let's watching with Bravo. Life. You know, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. you know, like yeah. uh, we get that. We get that. Sport fucking and you know, out of breath and you know, I got back. It's too much. Like it's you know, much. and the colitis. Yeah, and the col and the colitis. Yeah, man, yeah, that yeah that yeah. That must have put a damper on your. Love your sport life. fucking sport yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Wait, are, yes. You, are you gonna take dick pills? Is that why you brought no, that up? No, I, uh, I, I just realized. Oh, that we have some. Yeah, yes. I, there's a guy who found a shortcut. You don't have to take a dick pill. What do you take? Well, here, throw these on. Throw those cans on. What do you like? Uh, like some like. Some I've never taken something. I've never taken. What's the point? I mean, they just want to well, be hard for see. hours, man. It's, it's rubber yeah. dicking. That's called rubber dicking. Rubber dicking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen. If you've had any kind of erectile disorder problems i'm here to tell you forget about viagra forget about salads forget about dick and plants and all that stuff so i don't know if you believe me or not 
But if you like to see me smoke some meth with a small limp dick, it doesn't get hard any other way. And watch it get harder and harder. The more I smoke, the harder my dick gets. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Your this, dickhead becomes so sensitive ugh. that you don't need lube, you don't need spit. That breaking bad dick. Stroke that dickhead. This up that and Walter down White. Times just, just barely do it, and you'll shoot an enormous amount of very thick, thick, hot white cum. Damn. And my brother didn't believe me, but when he smoked with me, he put out his dick. I couldn't believe how big his dick was. He jacked off in four strokes. His brother did. And shot the most <laughs> cum he'd ever shot in his life. Him he's and his brother 49. were. were... <laughs> and he's fine. He has no yeah. neuropathy problems. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, and I feel like me and my brother, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, brother? very different. Yeah, I have a brother. Like, oh, you guys got to smoke meth. Oh. Yeah. And, and yeah. I, how did they get, you know, for sure. Like, yeah. that would bring us closer. And maybe our sisters is chilling there, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, why not? That'd be so cool. And here's the thing. It, it's even better if you and your brother aren't close because this could be the thing that pulls you together. Yeah. You know? And I, like, well, I'm like, i like, I didn't know that about you, Eric. Uh, yeah. My pre professor Eric. Yeah, it would professor. Be good for, yeah, he's a professor. Dude. So it would be really good uh, you know, for his career. You might be like him and be like, I can't believe how big your dick is Yes, right Eric, yeah. professor Eric. Professor Eric. Like, Eric. goddamn. Yeah. You're a real fucker, huh? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I just love watching you watch these. Yeah, I yeah, want to show or just you watch these clips because I yeah. love your reaction. It's perfect. Yeah, he had the right reaction. <sighs> Michael gets so upset. I love oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. <sighs> oh, man. I something I was going to say. You never talk about your erections with your brother? No. Nah, Are like, you close with your siblings? We're, you know. You grew up in Manhattan? In Manhattan. Yeah, and, and that I, would have been 70s, 80s, right? 70, I was born in 1970s. Oh, yeah. You know, 1 through 10 in the 80s, you know. Uh, so you were in the Manhattan when people were like, I mean, you might not know this having, you were there. Everybody else was basically like, don't go. New York is a scary, scary place. Yes. That's how everybody, I mean, I was a kid. I was born in 79. Where are you but, from? Uh, I, well, I was born in Cincinnati, but we moved in, I lived in the Midwest uh. and then in South Florida. And you bring up New York and people would be like, well, yeah, you could, you have to go with like police protection no. in New York. That's how people talk but about I, we, New York. But I, you mean at the time, like I, I want, you know, I, New York, Manhattan was like uh, my playground, you know, yeah. like we didn't think that way you know the boroughs they're part of the boroughs that were rougher but manhattan itself was you know we were out all hours of the night you know on our bikes and and uh you know and what I, part I, of the city were you in right all, east east way east way like east. by the east river east okay um and you know i was in taking a bus to school in the third grade by myself public public i mean you would never do that shit never now. but you know kids in manhattan you know because it's a, such a walking city. Like, you know, out here, you know, we're all freaked out with our kids. I'm the same way. But, you know, like I'll see kids 10, 11. They're on the fucking bus by themselves. 12 in New York. Years old, yeah. In New York now. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think Manhattan is a safe place. I mean, obviously the world has changed. But, I mean, I, the, the boroughs were, were, were more rough, were rougher. But Manhattan itself, I mean, obviously 40 Deuce, Times Square was fucked up. But I didn't go there till I was a teenager by myself. And, and, and like, I just, I don't know. I mean, shit happens. Like shit, shit has happened, but it, it, I never thought of Manhattan as like that. I, I just never felt that way about Manhattan. Like Times Square at the time, you know, like the taxi driver images of that. But I wasn't there in 74. I wasn't like four years old, like me and yeah. around, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, but yeah. so yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It was always like, for us, it was, I think it was like kind of described as, more like that yeah just like yeah. sodom and you, gomorrah oh, the only reason i mean you're a, i was a kid the reason you're saying as a kid is because the adults are all saying that the adults are all like new york's a terrifying place but not the new yorkers well, I think of course the new not. yorkers no. we, were, we were comfortable with it yeah and and uh you know like it was a good way to grow up i mean i wish you know i i, I wish i grew i wish i raised my kids in new york you They're did not mo hmm. mostly out here mostly one out. of them is in school in new york so he's getting sort of catching up to it but i wish I, they had that freedom are your kids actors too not as of not as not that I know of. Okay. I mean, they're they're sometimes at home. Uh -huh. They could be. They're fucking like you know Lawrence Olivier, but no, they're not. I don't know if they'll. They're. I think they'll. They're in the arty world. They are. You okay. know. But but I don't know. I mean, acting is like, you know, this business is not for the meek. You know, you no. can't. As people like, if I tell people like, you know, say, well, what do you for a young actor? I, like, yo, you better. There's no dipping your toe. You better have to do it. It has to be something you have to do. There has to be a compulsion 
and a drive to do it. You can't go, I'm going to try acting. You're not going to make it. If you're just going to try stand up. Same with stand up. Try too. acting. Fuck you that. have to go all in. And it has to be something that you have a need to do um, and a need to express um, whatever that is. That's yeah. that's my that it, and the tenacity to with to withstand the highs and lows of a career is almost more important than the talent. You know the tenacity to continue to oh. recreate to connect to continue to go on. Of and course, that is like the marathon of it. Yeah, you have to have that tenacity. Like you know, for me, I, I, I I've always related it to sports. For me, it's always been. It's not so much anymore because I have more of a comfort with it, but it, like when I was younger, but still now, like in regards to comedy, like it's sports, it's like, I'm going to fucking kick ass. Like I have to fucking kick ass. And like that conversation with myself is in regards to like, it's like Mike Tyson walking into the ring. Like when I go into auditions, I don't have to audition so much now, but if I do, but certainly when I was younger, it's like, this is a fight. It's so silly because yeah, yeah, but that's day, what you told yourself. Auditions has nothing to do with you. It, right. You know, you you know, they might want a guy who's you know got blue eyes because the actress has got green eyes. They might want to. It much might not be your fucking day. They might yeah. have a. It, but you know, as a young actor, you're like, oh, I suck and all that shit. You don't know that. Yeah. You, you know, you drive yourself fucking nuts with that shit dude speaking mm -hmm. of tenacity and things you are going to be hitting the road now that's right so let's tell people where they can see you bridgeport connecticut i'm hitting the hot spots first yeah let's do it so <laughs> bridgeport connecticut the stress factory right. next week the 13th 14th and 15th i mean ideally people like when they say valentine's day they go we need to go see michael rapaport in that's bridgeport historically a thing so 13th 14th and 15th the stress factory in bridgeport then the next week i'm going to be in tampa at the Tampa Improv, which you said is actually in Tampa. That's, that's, that's that Ybor City, actually. It's mm -hmm. Ybor City. Okay, 21st and 22nd, and then 29th in Chicago at the Vic Theater. That place oh, is dope. Can't wait for that. Cool. I can't wait for that. And all tickets, all information is available at michaelrappaportcomedy.com. So I can't wait to go back out. I, I, I love doing it. I love doing stand-up. I love the process of it. I love... I, I love it. I, I love the unpredictability of it. No, oh boy, yeah. I believe you. Well, you're great for many reasons. You're very bright. You're very outspoken. You're very articulate. And you're fucking fired up. And that's <laughs> good. That's, yeah. what, that's what I think it requires. I think so, too. Yeah. You know, and it, it's such a good time, as you guys know, for, for comedy. Because uh, there's so many different kinds of comedians. There's so many venues. There's such a, uh, um, you know, the, there's so many fans of comedy it's pretty fucking crazy. It's a great time. I mean, you know, and you go international and doing it. I mean, it's yeah. wild. It's, it's a wild time. This is this is a huge <laughs> boom time for stand up. Huge. Huge boom. Yeah, so it's it's dope. But I just, you know, treat it, you know, um with a lot of respect and 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 humility to the craft of it. And I, I dig it. I just I I love it. I love I love it. I love oh, it yeah. when it goes good. I love it when it doesn't go good. I I love the expression of it. Yeah. Because for me, like my goal as a comic is to make it as personal as possible. And I'm not there yet, top to bottom, but that's my goal. You know, they give away specials so easily, right? Yeah. You know, like for me, like if you're going to do a special, it has to be actually special. And like, you know, like comedy, you know, for me, like it has to like they're like for, for anything artistic for me, like my oh, I always remind myself if it's not personal it can never be if, if if it's if it's not personal it'll never be original because that's all we have is our own personal shit we could all do trump shit we could all do you know topical shit but at the end of the day like there has to be that moment of like oh this is a real he's really talking ab about mm -hmm. something that genuine to him and you want to make it in a funny thing but like that levity you know of like this is genuine. Yeah. That's and, my goal. But in that genuine specificity, that's the right word, specificity, yeah. is, you said right the, first is the universal. Yeah. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. It's in yes. that of like, oh, that's so detailed. Yeah. That's what everybody is doing to feeling. Rather. Yes, yes. That's harder to get to, that, it, that little kernel of, of truth. Yeah, I agree. It's fun to get to, though. And, and, and you, you know, and it's a never-ending art form. Like, you look at, like, Dave Chappelle last year, that Sticks and Stones. They talk about a career of monumental fucking crowning jewels, and then he might have surpassed all his stand-up after doing years of stand-up. Yeah. So that's inspiring, because you're like, you could just keep you going. You keep going. 
And if you look at, mo- I always think about this, like as a comic who's, you, you know, you're always looking at like the class ahead of you, right? People that are, have been doing it longer than you. And then I get to this point now where I go, oh, I, I, I really think all, almost all the best comics are 50 or older. So then you go like, mm. man, that actually is, is inspiring. Right. Because you go like, oh, they, they just kept getting better. Right. As they, as, as they age. It's not right. like they're like, oh, they aged out of it. They just, they kept getting better. Right. So that's a, that's a cool thing to, to look towards. You go, all these guys that are like, or, and, and girls that are the like, top of the game, oh. almost all are 50 or older. That's a, Joan that's a Rivers, point. I yeah. saw her before she passed, yeah. was the best she's ever been. Yeah. That bitch was saying crazy shit that nobody would say today. Think about all the different, Ugh, the lanes of it too. So like funny. if you think about like the different, like the Joan was, was obviously fantastic. Yeah. Now, you know, Burr, um, Chris Rock, Chappelle's almost 50, you know, Rock's over 50. Yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Rogan, uh, uh, Pat Oswalt. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're all, all they're all, masters. you know, they're not, no one's like 28. Yeah. And like killing, like, they're, yeah. They're all, and so awesome. If you're a, if you're a comic and, and you put that in your head, you realize that you, if you keep working at it, you know, that's a, the cool yeah. thing about it. And, and, and it's like, you know, with, with acting, so much of, for the majority of actors, the, you know, except for the elite of the elite, like the Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, like um, the Denzels, like the people we mentioned, you know, you're gonna like how many cops? Yo, you could keep casting me. I love playing cops, <laughs> but it's like I played a fucking. That's cop. so true. Yeah. You play you know, cops. You're a lot of motherfucking like cops. First you know? responder is yeah. your your lane. A lot of dumb like, dads, yeah. and yeah. that's dope. And I and you could continue to play with it. But the thing about comedy, it's like the landscape is just yeah. You know, and you have so much control of what you want to articulate it if you can totally. do it. I don't yeah. know if it's necessarily going to be funny, but the but the it, the palette of it is like I said with Chappelle. It's like he just fucking surpassed all his other shit. You yeah. know, and his other shit is, we're talking about high level shit. So that's what I, I enjoy um, about the, the idea and the goal of it. You well, know, go watch forward. Michael fucking achieve his goal. See him at michaelrappaportcomedy.com for tickets. Yep. Listen to the podcast, I Am Rappaport. Yep. At Luminary, there's the paywall. Yep. We try to have one Jewish guest a year, so I'm happy that you stopped yeah. by. I appreciate saying, have um, you, you matched the quota so this far? Is, where yeah. you're at, this is it. You're done. Yeah, this is and it. And watch Atypical on Netflix. Is it? Do you know if it's coming back for a third season? You're asking I can't the hard answer that question. question. Yeah, but oh. it's. Uh, but I feel. I feel. I feel very, 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 very optimistic. It's such a what good is it, show. Fucking deadline. Oh. Chill out, lady. I love it. I feel I just, very I'm, I'm into it right I know, now. I know. But I, I don't. I don't like as of right I now. I, I can't say. But I feel such really good show. Optimistic because the fans have been so good. So it hasn't been. I have. I can't. I don't know if it's yeah, coming back. Yeah. But I feel very good about. I it. I hope so. I feel like I've learned so much about autism. I had no idea. It really humanized the whole thing for me. I'm like, oh, and it's do you so know, crazy. I'll say about um, uh, atypical real quick is that I've done a lot of shit. The response from the fans of that show has been more on the side from, I mean, top to bottom, ages all over the place has been thank you, mm. not oh it's funny or that was dope. It's like so many people have thanked all of us for doing the show, and that is not something you could plan or predict when you get a role in something it's it sparked a uh a, 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 a resonated with an emotional core to the audience and that's yes because it's really not even uh, people go oh, i don't want to know maybe you don't want to watch because like it's about autism it's not it's about loving your kids and and having relationships so yeah. it's a family it's ultimately yeah. this family that has its own unique set of problems yeah and what family doesn't yeah exactly and it's so great to watch you and then you know you learn stuff too along the way. Yeah, it's so, so it's great. Cool. Such a it's, great it's, show. You know, I'm I'm proud of it. So hopefully, 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 uh, <laughs> well, I'll, you know, I'll know soon. And well, see right if you can uh, go on the black market and try to get that episode of Louie so you can watch that performance <laughs> yeah. that I talked about. It's really fantastic. And and there is. I just want to make sure you yeah. you know this. Like you could search online because I feel like you, you you like you were saying that you said the black market like to find like me shitting at yeah. Runyon Canyon. That yeah. just doesn't <laughs> exist. Well, well, give it a shot. Yeah. Give it a shot. All loaves matter. <laughs> uh, I appreciate thanks, Michael Rapport, for stopping by. Appreciate Thank it, man. Thank you. Daily, twenty four seven, we're scratching. Daily, twenty four seven, we're itching. Daily, twenty four seven, we're scratching. Daily. He said he wanna eat my pussy. I said you go catch a. He said I don't care. We don't go die. Catch A. He wanna catch A. He wanna catch A.
wanna catch a he wanna eat my pussy he wanna catch a he wanna catch a he wanna catch a he say i don't care he say i wanna catch a there's nothing harder than being a female we go through a hell of a lot of stuff what do you think is the biggest challenge to women today <sighs> Our pussies fucking stink. Our pussies itch. Our pussies stink. They have these huge warts that go on them. Our pussies smell like fish. Our pussies itch. Our pussies stink. Our pussies fucking stink. Our pussies smell like fish. Our pussies fucking stink. Our pussies smell like fish. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats. <laughs>